Okay. Good morning. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Clint. How's everyone today? I have carpal tunnel so bad, guys, that I'm just trying to rest my hand on this little hot pad. But um, I have a ton of work to do. But today I am going to show you guys how to do one of these shadow boxes from start to finish, right from the very beginning to how it ends up being like this. So yesterday I cut another one of these out because I absolutely love the little red truck. The little red truck is the absolute most the bomb. Now, I kind of want to color in some more of this. I just want this one to be a very colorful one. So I'm going to use some Copic markers. Um, well, they're really not Copic markers. They're dollar store markers, but they look just like a Copic marker. Hi, Martha. Good morning. So I'm going to show you guys right from the get go how to do these right from start to finish. Actually, Jeff's going to go and pick me up some more shadow boxes from Michael's. I ordered some more. And of course, they had no paper. So I had to get him to go get me some from Staples because I'm getting Michael's is out of their 11 and a, 11, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. Good morning, Crafting Panda. Uh, I put the link below in the video box um, where I got my SVGs from. So I did it in yesterday's video and in today's. It's the same link to take you to where I purchased um, all of these. Now, yesterday I put this one together so you can see it's got the foam tape in it and it's all in layers. And I only colored in very little of this particular one here. And that's just the way I kind of like it like that. So, um, this one here, I am going to spend more time on it and coloring it all in. So I just think it's going to look, I have to do, okay, the thing with three-dimensional uh, pictures, you need to work the foreground very dark, the background very light. So almost so pale that it just blends in. Do you know what I mean? And I have experience with that with painting because always when you paint, you paint in layers. So the back, the very background is always the very, very lightest. It's the farthest away. So the lighter you make it, the farther away it's going to look. So that's basically what I want to do with this one here. I want to make the foreground very far away, very faint. And because I my fairy lights are not colorful, Instead of coloring my fairy lights, I just want to color the background, the foreground and the background. So I've already got the foreground done. And that, of course, is the darkest. Always everything in the front is always the darkest. Okay, so we're going to get started on this. I'm going to show you step by step. What I didn't like about this one here is it didn't come with all the layers that this one did. And I'll explain that as I go through this. But I mean, it still has a, a tremendous amount of layers. I mean, you can see that with all the pages here, but it doesn't have the amount of layers because what this one has is it's got two layers just in this one here for the lantern. So it's got a solid layer and then it's got the one where it's got the cutouts so you can see the snow. Same for the trees. Same thing with the trees. It's got a solid layer and it's got the layer that goes on top that looks like snow on the trees. And then this one here is also layered where the truck is. So you can see in the background here, the truck is solid there. But when you look at this in the light, it, this all looks like actual snow on the truck. So this one doesn't do that. So I kind of like how this one did it so you can color these or you can just leave them completely white like that because they still look absolutely beautiful i just want to see what it's going to look like with color 
So to start off, I am going to do a different one. So let me share screen. Uh, here. And let's go to Etsy because that's where I purchased my like my uh, STDs or SVDs. STDs? What? <laughs> <laughs> where did that come from? STD? I don't think so, sweetheart. <laughs> no, it's an SVG. <laughs> Good morning, okay. Satika. Good morning, morning Panda, Debbie. So I'm just going to go to my purchase and reviews. You can see this is basically what I've uh, purchased and reviews. Oh, I'm already at that page, am I? Yeah. Okay, so these are all the ones I purchased. This is one I have not done yet. This is one I have not done yet, the Santa Claus one. And this is the one I want to do right now. So this one here, Ooh, I yeah. love this one. So I'm not going to buy it because I've already bought it. I'm just going to go to download files. So I'm going to download the files. Got to go all the way down here to where are you? This one here. And I've got to download. Um, that's the instructions. I don't need them. So I'm just going to download the... Um, Oh, I've already got it downloaded. Okay, we don't need to do that now. So let's go. Uh, let's go. Where is it? Let's open this one. So I'm going to extract it to my desktop. Because that's the easiest place for me to find stuff. Oh, whatever. I've already extracted it. No, 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 cancel. I don't want to close that out. I'm going to close this out. Um, so now we need to bring up our Cricut. And I'm going to show you how to put it into your Cricut. So first off, you have to go to your canvas in order to upload something. So let's go to canvas. Let's go to upload. And then we're going to upload an image and you got to browse for your image. So this one is called Santa. Where are you? Is it here? Nope. PDF. Nope. And download. Oh, where is it? Man, there are such piles of white stuff outside. Is there? Yeah. Okay, let me just open this. Oops. Let me just open this file and see what the names of these files are. I'm, I'm totally lost. PDF, PNG, SVGs. So it is the SVG one. Well, let's let's go find out. Browse. It's this one here. So let's just click on this and see. Yep, it is the one. So we're going to upload. So you have to do one image at a time. Unfortunately, Cricut doesn't let you do a spam of them. Just remember which one you've already done. Okay, that's number three. Yep. Power. Five, six, <laughs> Penis is loving all the SVGs, as opposed to STDs, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Good point. Don't even ask me where that came from. 
Okay, so that is all of this one requires. So this one's only uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, only eight sheets. So you click on each one of them. Make sure you click on all of them and there's a green box around the, the thing. You see the green frame? Make sure that's on it and then you click on add to canvas. So instead of having to go in and group all of these up, in, in case you just want to do them again, you're going to go up here and save. Don't even touch anything. Type in Santa, whatever, clause, shadow box. Oops. And that way, I don't have to go and click on them. I can just open up my project and click make it. That's all I have to do. So you could see all of these. Oops, went too far. All of these are in layers. So it's going to cut each one individually. All right, so let's go to make it. And I'm going to show you why I choose the way I choose again. So it, this here is telling you that each one of these, so there is eight pages, that's going to cut out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut a backing for this. So let me show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go back to cancel. One of my projects... So let me just highlight this and delete this for now. One of my projects has an eight by eight already cut out for it. So this is what I did is I grouped them up together. So the little red truck has a solid background in it. And I want that solid background because that's what's going to hide my lights. A lot of these SVGs, files don't come with an actual backing for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to click on this one because this is the one I need and it's at the very back. Oh no, it's at the very front. That has you nothing could, on it. You could manually cut a background for it. You can. You can cut an 8 by 8 square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these, move them over, Oh, you bitch. And I'm going to delete them. Delete. Delete. And delete. So this doesn't ruin your file. Like it doesn't ruin what you have saved. Believe me. So this is just an, an 8 by 8 solid piece of backing for, for my project. Okay. So that's all this is. So we're going to leave this here. Now I'm going to go and add the other one to my, my canvas as well, which is the Santa Claus shadow box. Customize it. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Okay, never mind. You can't do that. It's going to make me replace it or save it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to upload, go all the way, go to view all because I have a ton of stuff in here that I've uploaded. And I'm going to go find that blank page in that particular one, which is going to take a bit of time. I got to find the one with the dog because that was the one that had it. I want to do this one as well. With the little snowmans, it's so cute. <laughs> Panda said, this is going to be the first project I make on my Cricut that I finally took out of the box after watching Ruby make her saddle box. Oh, that's yesterday. awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. That is the cathedral. Where is the doggy one? I might, I might have, must have. Yeah, they are pretty cool, aren't they, Panda? Okay, so this is a different one. That's the cathedral. Where's the one with the doggy? I might have passed it. That's not it. That's not it. That's the one with the doggy. Okay, so let's go find this blank file, which is right there. And we're going to add that to our canvas. So it's going to add it with this there we go all right so now 
So take them all and group them. And actually, no, what I want to do, ungroup, is this one here. They're going to I think we'll send it to the back. Oh, it's just sending it there. Anyway, it don't really matter. So here we go. Let's group and let's click on make it. The thing of the matter is, is I am going to have this blank page now. And that's mainly what I want. And I'll show you some of them that I have. If you don't have anything on the backs of them, um, I'll show you. So anyway, I'm going to stop sharing screen because you guys don't need to see this part here. And let's go back to the, um, okay, so Jeff, I'm sending you those emails because both of them are ready now for pickup. Michaels and Staples. All right, now I can close out my email, close out this, and go back to this. Okay, so what I was trying to explain about the, the back, you see that's a solid back. That's just going to go directly inside the shadow box over top of the lights. But this one here is the original one that came with the solid 8 by 8 backgrounds. This one doesn't so what happened on this one i made the other day i was like oh crap you could see the board through all those little tiny holes okay that's the problem with this so i am going to create a backing for this that's going to go over top of the lights this one already had the backing this one didn't and i cut one for this i just used that same template and I cut the backing for this one and this is just a solid piece okay so we're going to move this over here for now now what I like to do is when I'm starting and I know I told you guys to use the tinfoil method but because because this has so much intricate cutting I highly recommend these needles are cheap if you buy them on Amazon to replace your needle. I just replaced this needle yesterday, but I cut a whole set out with it. So I'm just going to replace my needle again after I find where I put my glasses. Where are they? They're not. Debbie, Di Di's got the Cricut Joy, and so does Ollie, actually, but they both love their Cricut Joys. Yes, they do. And don't be intimidated, Panda. I've got mine. I just, you got to really just get in there and learn its function. It's, it's, yeah. not, it's not really intimidating. It's kind of scary. But <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to change I mean, this needle out. Just pop it, pop the needle very carefully because this sucker is sharp. And you're going to pull that needle out. And what I do is I just take another fine tip needle which is what color red the red yeah and you're going to put that inside there you get three colors you get red yellow and blue the blue is a deep cut and the yellow i don't know what it's for so what i do is this goes into my garbage bin not my garbage bin into a pill bottle but i recover that blade with that red little tab to protect whoever has touched that okay so we've done that We've replaced our needle. What size papers do you use? Eight and a half by 11. These work perfectly for the eight by eights. So I have a all very clean mat because I just cleaned it and it's pretty sticky. So I need to close this because it's pretty hey, clean. So you're going to place your first paper down on your mat and you're going to press it on. So what it's going to do is it's going to cut my back first for some reason. It, I, it ended up. The, those just sort to whatever way they want. There's no 
no um, particular order that these come in. You have to kind of struggle to get them in order. So let's hit continue on the Cricut's design space. And explain to them what happened about the mat too. After you cleaned it. Oh, after I cleaned it, it made my paper stick really bad. Then it so, tore her design. Yes, it tore my design. So I had to reprint that page or recut that page twice, actually. So I'm just going to change it over. The thing is, is it does have to be stuck down because when that needle starts moving around, it's going to shift your paper. And that's what happened. My mat wasn't clean. So then I got it clean and then it stuck. <laughs> so I didn't win with that one. Okay, so for materials, I always choose custom. If you choose custom, you get to go pick what you're doing. So I like to browse all materials. Um, for cardstock, I pick the medium cardstock, 80 pound, or you can go 100 pound. I don't really need to do that and click done. Or you can just choose this one. And this here says cardstock. So that's the one I'm just going to leave it on. We'll see how it does. So make sure you put your mat in. It's nice and straight. You hit the feed button. And then it's going to flip click the Cricut button. So you just hit that and it's going to start to cut this, this particular page out. So it cuts one page at a time. Fresh. And another milk. thing. Another thing, too, is that when you're doing your Cricut, your little designs, on your computer, it will tell you what to do. So yep. it's, it's, it can't be intimidating. It, it tells you how to do it. You just have to be very mindful. Them buttons that she just pushed to start, load, and all that stuff, it will only pop up when it's ready for it to be done. Okay, so it's done with page one. We're going to unload our mat. And we're going to take this page off. So this is my 8x8 eight eight backing. Use your damn tools for this. And I'm telling you, you need to use this particular tool for this. And you're going to see why in upcoming um, uh, the cuts. So I, and, and you want to do this. You want to see how it gets stuck in certain spots. If you don't use this and you just pull this off, your paper is going to curl. Right. You don't want to curl your paper, especially not these shadow box papers, especially that little border that goes around. If you don't lift it off with this and you peel it off, you're going to see what happens. It curls and you don't want to do that. So just be diligent about just scooping it off. Your page stays nice and flat. You see no curl to it. Okay, so that's page one done. And I am using Michael's 65-pound uh, cardstock, and that's what my husband's going to do. So this is the last of my white cardstock. I've gone through two packs of this already. And, yes, I have made some mistakes and just had to recut them. Whoops. And recut them and recut them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Martha knows because I was with her when I was doing it. <coughs> so let's uh, get this on here nice and snug because now it's going to be cutting some intricate work. <coughs> you just have to load it up. You don't have to touch anything in design space because it's automatically going to cut every page that's on those mats. So you don't have to tell it to go and start cutting a different page. It does it all automatically. So now it's on to cutting page two. And having a sharp needle, you're going to see why this is so, so, so important. So we just have to wait for the Cricut to do its work. So it is important to have a clean mat and a nice sharp needle for this. Oh, I see it's cutting out little squares. <coughs> I 
so we're going to cut this out. We're going to put it together and we're going to put it into the shadow box. We may even color it. I might even color this in. The Santa would be so cute colored, no, Martha? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Crafting Panda, just use regular uh, eight and a half by 11 or eight four. Whatever you can get an eight by eight out of. Yep, whatever. You don't have to you waste. You do twelve by twelves if you've got. Yeah, but then you're wasting a nice big sheet of twelve by twelve. And I yeah, that's that, no you know, kidding. Yeah, I learned that you really don't need to use the twelve by twelve because what this does is it cuts it out and frames it for you, so it's just perfect. Well, it does all the intricate cutting first, then it'll cut the frame. Which the one with the dog is what 13 layers? Yes, that is 13 pages. That is the biggest one I've done so far. But I really like that one. And like I said, that one has um that one has um the the shadowing for the trees, the lantern, and the red truck. So those and a hidden fence. Yeah, that hidden fence was a damn nightmare. I could not see that for the life of me. And Martha caught it like within a one minute. She already said, oh, I know where that goes. I was like, where? And I'm looking, no, it doesn't go there. And I'm looking, oh, yes, it does. <laughs> and one th other thing, too, that I've noticed is that all these files are cut out in order. Keep yeah. them in order and you won't get lost. Yeah. So right now, as this is cutting, I'm not sure if this is the first or the last page, but I'll be able to tell once we get all the pages cut out. So I'm not sure how this one cuts in particular. Right now, it's cutting out little circles and little stars. It's making all <coughs> kinds of jagged cuts. It's super cute. Oh, it looks like holly berry. Oh, that's awesome, Crafting Panda. I've been avoiding carpal tunnel surgery. You can see my, my right thumb is way bigger than my right my left thumb. And this morning I woke up with so much tingling and pain in here and this that it was making my hand itch. I, it was driving me actually mental. It was driving me nuts because I had to keep trying to scratch all of it, but it doesn't help because it's internal. Like you can't scratch it. <laughs> it was honestly, I told Jeff, this is driving me mad because my hand- Debbie wants to know what kind of foam tape you'd used. Oh, okay. I made a mistake when I ordered this from Amazon. So I'm gonna order the three eighths. The quarter inch foam tape I ordered from Amazon. I'll put a link for that in below. I wished I would have ordered the three eighths, but still the quarter inch worked perfectly because that's what I used to layer in these. See how nice it does it? So that's what I used was the quarter inch in this one. It's still, but the thing is, is this is only one sixteenth of an inch thick. There's thicker stuff. Don't get that thick stuff. You want the stuff that's about a 16. You get any bigger than that, this is not, it's going to get so big, it's not going to fit inside your, your Michael's frame if you use that. So this here package came with two holes. It's a bit pricey. I can tell you that right now. It's not cheap. So the 3 8 one is $31, and I'm going to order that one today because I want the 3 8 The 3 8 I think, is going to work. If you buy half inch, you may accidentally go a little bit crooked and it'll show on the on the inside of your frame so don't use half inch stick with either the quarter inch that i got or three eighths and three eighths is a lot smaller than a half inch so you got a lot of room to get it nice and straight across your border you'll see how i do this technique today 
Nobody showed me how to do this. I had to learn it all on my own. The videos I watched online, um, someone was saying to make it out of foam board. Well, oh my God, I made it. I made these frames out of foam board. That's what I, got I said. To the third I figured the foam board would work. The third page, and it was this thick. <laughs> I was like, this is never, I got 13 pages. It will be this big. I don't have, I don't have a, a shadow box this fat. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very hesitant in having the surgery crafting panda because I know it's going to go away. This bothered me before and it took a little bit of time and it went away and I'll just wait for it to go away. But this all started when I went back to work because I'm doing my repetitive work that originally gave me this problem to begin with. Oh my God, this one is so cute. I'm excited for you guys to see this one. Oh, muffin. The Santa, the Santa. It is the Santa one. But I think, too, that if you, like, take her foam tape, double it up, or get the thicker foam tape, I think more dimensions between each page will definitely be beautiful, too. Yeah, you can use even foam squares, but I, I don't recommend it because... You're going to get little bowing in those little thin frames as it goes around the border. It, it bows where there's nothing to support it. Tell them about your Zot. <laughs> My Zots was a disaster. What a mess. I even have proof to show it to you still. So. <laughs> yeah, it was not pretty. No. Not pretty. So now it's cutting out the frame. Very nice. Very, very nice. And actually, this one doesn't even look like it's a half inch frame, unfortunately. All right. So we unload our mat. This first rip, you don't need to take it off with the um, thing. Just chuck that out. But this is the part you do. And this is a much thinner frame. So maybe, maybe I'm kind of glad I only have that quarter inch tape. Because this one looks to be about three eighths of an inch. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just carefully, carefully going on this outer edge. And then you're going to carefully start picking out your big pieces that are kind of you don't need so that part that and then this is where you're going to be very diligent in using your spatula to make sure everything lifts up careful and doesn't tear especially this christmas tree. because it will tear yes it will and then you have to cut out a whole new one yep so I'm just so lifting. patience is a virtue here, people. Yes. This Santa, you can see there's a whole lot of delicateness. So. And she's stuck. Lift like his face. Oh my gosh, this is very, very delicate. Just use your spatula, honestly. Don't try to rip this out. And if you've got one from the dollar store, don't use it. It is worthless. Because I bought one and I tried getting stuff off my pad and all it did was bunch it up and it, you, it can't get underneath the paper correctly. All right. So we've got all of Santa out. I need more tea. After all, it is Tuesday. Okay, so we got this all done. Now, this part here looks like I can just lift it off very carefully. And there we go. Wow. Wow, look at this. Now, this is the reason you're going to use a brand new needle. So you can get all of this cut out nicely. So let's clean off our mat. 
Oh, I missed it. Dang it. I'll show it again because it's got to be weeded a bit. There's got to, there's a little, always some weeding to do. Okay. So it's got to be weeded and I'll come down a bit closer. But I like to get the next page in while I'm working on weeding the last one that just printed or cut out. Okay, so I am not going to chuck this on the floor like I did the other day. So let's get a new piece on our mat, line it up best we can. All right. So make sure it's under these clips, this board. Feed it in. Wait for the button to flash, and it can go. All now, right. see, Crafty Panda, how simple is that? Look at Martha. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so there's a little bit of... Oh, look at all the designs on the top, like all the... Yeah. Yeah. There's a little wee bit of weeding to do. So I like to use my weeding tool to poke out the stars, the circles. There, there, that one, that one. Some of them need a little bit of a, a nudge, a boost. But basically all of this, oh, that needs to be weeded out a bit. That one's fine. Santa Claus is fine. One little piece there. One little piece there. His eyebrow. Wow, so intricate. That's okay, one. crafty panda. What? I call her crafty, but it's crafting. Yes. What crafting. is your name? I'm still probably going to call you panda anyway. So There we go. Look at this. You know what? I'm oh, I love that. On a piece of red card so you guys can see it. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Says he. Look it. Very, That's very nice. I love the bells and the garlic. Hi, Mary. Nice to meet you, Mary. All right. I'll be Hello, right back. Oh, Mary. Hi. Martha can talk. I'll be right back. Where are you going? Gosh, dang it. So anyway, um, I got my new computer yesterday. And as all electronics, you should have it on a shock resistant, whatever, strip. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> so I have to go get one of them today. Along with more cat, canned cat food for Holly Mae. But, so in a little bit after I get another little wake up call with my tea, I'm going to go jump me in the shower. And I got my bracelet done yesterday to go with the earrings. And I says, like, I'm going to use a button. So I went through my little fancy buttons, and what did I find? But yes, a little gingerbread man button to go with my gingerbread man shirt. So it turned out pretty cute. So that's what I'm going to wear today. Oh, where else do I got to go? I got a list right here. Um, I want to get some glitter foam sheets, so I'll probably go to Michael's. Um, yeah, surge bar protector, surge bar. And so I'll be going to Walmart for the surge bar. I need some hair conditioning too, so. Did you get your new pewter all set up? Um, yeah, when I got it, I somehow turned it on and it started setting itself up. So 
there might be have to be a couple more things to do on it but i gotta plug it in it's all in the bedroom already and i i do got a little mouse with a cord on it so that'll work perfect for that room because and then i can start downloading svgs and not tds's no wait a minute that's wrong stds yeah I'm going to upload a lot of SVG files to it for the cricket. And actually, I got to put all new plugins, you know, electrical plugs in my wall. Because all, let's see, one, two, I think all three of them that I got in there are not good. But I'll make it work until I got room to move shit around and then I can get down to them. So I'm not buying them yet today. I might buy them. I don't know. Depends on if Walmart's got any. Yeah, go out and play in the snow and see how many stupid people are out driving. I got four-wheel drive, so I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'd like to go into a empty parking lot and do some donuts myself, actually. Driving in the snow is fun. Fun, 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 fun. I live in North Virginia, near Washington, D.C., in a little village called Luckett's. Aw, North Virginia. So are you close to Virginia Beach? I'm not sure how far away that would be. Not a city since we don't have our own post office. All our mail goes through the Leedsburg facility. Uh, oh. Okay. You have a lot of good little shopping in your village. That seems weird to say a village in uh, North Virginia. <laughs> Five hours. Oh, wow. That makes a good little weekend getaway. My dad used to go down to Virginia Beach. He has one of them condo, renting condo things, but he passed away two years ago. So, Anywho, 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 anywho. I'm going to go out shopping today, and I think tomorrow I'm going to tackle this TV. If nobody comes over and helps me do it, I'm going to do it all myself. All right. I thought I unmuted, but I didn't. So this is the light box. Morning, Nan. The very first one I did, and I'm going to show you how crappy this is. I'm going to be doing a new one of that. Okay, so this one finished. Sorry. My daughter came here. I had to give her something. All right. <clears throat> now. I heard you talking before you got me on here, and it's like, is Patsy there? No. No, are you kidding, Patsy? You must have been talking to Jeff then. No, I wasn't talking. To you. I was talking to you guys. Oh. Uh, that was before you went live. Oh, I might have been talking to Jeff, yeah. So I tried to lift this so I don't have to weed all these out, but it's kind of near impossible. Like that part's good. And see this Santa Claus is shadowed, which is lovely, which means we can color him in. So I'm just going to try to lift this fire very carefully. 
And one thing about this, too, is that you either can have your Santa on the right or you can have him on the left. Depends yeah. on how your perspective is. But keep your papers in order. So there. That's and the, the one set that Ruby did, she <laughs> noticed on the very bottom that she had put a number one. So you see this? I can color in the Santa because this one is going to go over top. So all the part that's white, I'm going to color him in on this part. That is going to be so cute. I got to do a little bit of weeding on that one, but not a lot. Now see that little fire in the fireplace? Now I'd keep that. <laughs> I would keep that little negative. Part. Well, you can keep all the negative pieces if you want, but I'm not, I can't. Like, look, that's a perfect little fire. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's perfect. But my gosh, I could have had a lot of pieces if I would have saved everything. Okay. Get all these pieces off. Well, the first thing to do is put the piece together. You know, put them all in layers, and then you can decide what, what... you want to color into. Right. But as it makes the layers, I can already see that I can color in the Santa suit. We'll see if I can color in the tree. If I can color in the tree in green, then we'll do that. But we'll see if there's a place for it to shadow. You don't have to color it at all. They're beautiful, not colored. Yes, they are still very beautiful, not colored. All right, I got a little tiny bit of weeding to do in here. Not much. And these bigger pieces, I just use my finger, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Oh, up here, between the bells. <sighs> and that's it. There you go. So obviously, this piece will go over top of this piece. So what I'm going to do is I am going to color in the Santa because I want color in this. And it's colored in the actual uh, picture. So Mary lives in North Virginia near Washington, D.C. in a little village called Luckett's. Um, She's like five hours away from Virginia Beach, and her village is a wine country, and closest shopping and dining areas are 20 minutes away. And they have a lot of farmland and quaint little antique shops. Nice. Where is my book? Yeah, that's true. They, they do look good to colored, but you really got to watch what layer that you color. Okay, so I'm going to use a red permanent marker just to color in all this red very, very carefully. Sharpie to the rescue. I'm not sure if I'll color in his face though, red. If you got different kind of markers, you could do a pink outfit, you know, and <laughs> which would not look good at all. Not in my not book. On Santa, no. Oh my goodness! Oh, come on, Martha, wake up! Like you mind? I'm coloring. All right. 
This one's got it. Okay, we'll move this one out of the way for a minute. Oh, how nice. She lived in Fairfax City for 28 years and wanted a quiet, peaceful area to live once my husband passed. Found this house here and fell in love with my surroundings. Oh, how nice. Real nice, Mary. That's awesome. So, lift that out. So, have you had any boyfriends since then, Panda? Morpha. <laughs> well, it's been a while, you know. Me, not yet. I see all these girls getting a boyfriend, dumping them, getting another boyfriend. It's like, God, how lucky. I need about three boyfriends. One that knows how to mow yards, one that knows how to work on sheds, and one that Look at that. Likes to vacuum. Beautiful. Look at all these little cobblestones you could just use. But I'm not. No. No. I'm not and on the floor they go. Oh. No. <laughs> that other day she kept brushing on the floor. She said, you should see the floor. <laughs> yep. I just brushed everything through all my papers because the garbage was overflowing. So I just let it overflow on the floor. I said, hey, have fun. Have at her. Have at her. Yeah, she needs a paper Zumba or a Roomba. Are they Roombas or Zumbas? Jeez, I hate how this Roombas. gets yuckies on it from the mat. Okey doke. Carry on. Next page. I don't know. That went in crooked. We'll just take it out. There we go. All right, let's go back to coloring. She says, no way. One husband in a lifetime was enough for me. Our marriage was a challenge due to his addiction. Oh, what yeah. was he addicted to? Well, I'm trying to remember what she said the other day. That's hard living the life like that. Again, but I wouldn't mind having a boyfriend. Right. With his own place. Opiates, yeah, pain pills. That's what I thought. That's a tough, that's tough when they're addicted to stuff. Yeah. Some of these print quick. Some of them are two, three hours long. Takes to print them off. No word of a lie. Yep. Like the one with the dog. That takes a couple hours. That one, I think, is straight. I don't know. I'm not going to fight with it. He attempted suicide three times during our marriage. I found him on his third successful try. Oh, my God. Panda, my husband, shot himself. Right here with me in the kitchen. It really sucks. It does. 
Yeah, that must have been hard, though. Wouldn't the police have given you a hard time and say, oh, did you shoot him? Did no, go they, they the took the rifle to find fingerprints. awful yeah sure i can imagine oh i should have done his boots in black yeah do his boots in black boots in black boots in black yeah Wouldn't it be easier to do a different background while you're coloring? What do you mean? Well, instead of the red paper, use a pink paper or something. No, because I could see the white spots if I miss one real quick. Ah, well, that's logical. Yeah. I love that word, logical. Yeah, that can make it. I hear you, Panda. That is, uh, guns are definitely something you got to tread lightly on. But me and him, we used to go out and shoot rifles, and I loved it. I love shooting rifles. I out bullseyed him so many times. <laughs> But <clears throat> it was good memories. It was good memories. I couldn't tell you right now what bullet goes in what rifle, but I do like to shoot them. That is so cute. So cute. See? Probably should have done the whole face too. I don't know. We'll see. Debbie says, I'm looking for the foam tape, but my joy won't take eight and a half by 11. That's right. It won't, Debbie, because it's only oh, six no. inches wide. Well, I think you can. Can't you resize this down to six? I can't see a problem with that. I uh, maybe so. Yeah, I don't see a problem with it. Service revolver and a nearly to our family part. It will. The death of a child. There we go. Well, ain't that cute. All right. So let me put these all back in order. Because I'm getting a little I had a piece out here. That looks here. And this here is the last one I just cut out. So that one obviously went there. That one went there. That one went there. That one went there. And this one goes on top. Well, this one is, wow, a whole lot smaller than 8x8. Eight eight. <clears throat> is it? Yeah. Measure it and see what it is. 
Now, are them, it's is that all the layers to it then? No. It's about an eighth of an inch smaller all on both sides. So a sixteenth of an inch smaller. So this frame is eight by eight. I have to trim this frame down. Actually, I'm not going to. I'm going to just leave it that size and put the foam tape carefully around it. Like, who needs all these little square pieces, all these little stars? Like, this kind of stuff you could keep. You could definitely keep and use. All right. Have you tried using the scraper to lift up your papers when it's done? Sometimes, but I find it way thicker than that spatula. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. For those fine, intricate parts, you might not want to use a fat scraper. Oh. Looks like one end crooked. Yeah. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yep. There we go. So I'm going to show you what happened with this light box. Wow, what a mess. Totally. Welcome back again, Nan. Where are you? Yeah. Hi, Nan. She's been here for a little bit. All right. This is what happens when you use Zots. It made a hell of a mess of this. So I am going to try to reuse my whites and it's stuck in the zot and reuse my board i watched her put them zots on she was having such a horrible time with them yep they were a nightmare never again they do an awful job on your thing That's gone bad. Training 101. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what one of the cricket people that does cricket stuff recommended Zots. What a disaster. Like, honestly, look at how that looks. And it was really hard to match them up. Look at how I, I'll stagger. Look at none of them matched up. It was disastrous. I was Let's making coffee control. and getting dressed, and we have our pastry. What oh. kind of pastry this morning, Nan? Or is it another apple turnover? There. We already have lights attached on this one that are really cute. Ready to go. All right. Uh, I'd be so finicky on using the lights because I'd want one right where the fireplace is, right where that fire is. I'd have to have one there. Yeah, well, there pretty much will be one there. So let's be careful with our tree and our stars. There we go. And see how my papers are staying flat? That's what you guys want. You want it flat like a board. So, obviously, oh my goodness, look at this. I could see it already, how pretty. <laughs> All right, 
carry on. Oh, he's got a red hand. Yeah. Oh, no, no red hand. You need a peach color. I need it black because his mittens are black. I could color it in black. <clears throat> All right. That's that one. Way. I'm going to flip my mat now and go on this side. It's losing a bit of its sticky, so I'm going to make sure I get it pressed in there. Okay, so let's fix his Let's do them in black. Concerned about that face. There, that looks better done in the black. This is almost done cutting. close to the top so can't say this is the greatest SVG file I've purchased. Now these trees are intricate so be careful. And there we go. That one popped out nicely. Very nice. So this one's going to go right there with more trees in the background oh my goodness look cute 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 yes look at all these stars and you could keep for confetti you know oh man i took a gouge out of my pinky toe the other day Ooh, ouch I don't remember what I ran into. <laughs> Let me see how many more pages it needs to go. It is on page nine, which is the last page. 
Let me work, put this baby together. Page of nine. Yeah, ouch. I didn't know it until I pulled off my little footy, and it's like, why does my toe feel so funny? And it's like, oh, man. It's a good little gouge. <clears throat> that went in crooked? No. Nope. All right. about all I'm coloring in. I just want a little bit of the center. So I'm going to grab a shadow box, a brand new one, <clears throat> so I can show you how to string your lights. I'm going to use this one for my cathedral. This is how they come from Michael's. They're eight by eight and a three pack. <clears throat> you get three packs of them. In Canada, they're $24.98. In the States, I don't know how much they are, but they're 8x8 display case, they're called. And you can get them in white, black, silver. I like the white to stick with the white paper. So that's why I choose this one. If you're doing like the little farm truck, the black frame wouldn't look too bad. Mm. But other than that, I'd stick with the white. I yeah. can't see silver. I no. No, I just can't. Me neither. No. So my husband went to pick me up two more packs of these. Yay, Nan's watching the big screen again. So we're going to use one. I would say these are big enough for your actual things. Um, I, don't, I don't think, you know, if you wanted to use the Ikea ones, which they're cheaper, but you can't buy them online. So that's kind of the shit. Let me just have a look-see. Let's see how much. Ooh, that's going to fit perfect. So we'll wait till this one's done before I start taking this apart. It's the Krika Air 2, Nan. Mine is. Yep, me and Martha have the same ones. Yep, same color too. Yes, Martha bought purple too. My daughter brought me this. It was purple. It was beautiful. She's all done. So what I'm going to do is close this up. I am going to click finish on my Cricut make a design space because I know that when you see the finish button, that means it's done. So I'm resaving this so it has the background. And then we'll go into our projects and delete the first one that I saved that doesn't have that piece of 8x8 in the background. So I'm just going to go delete this one. And click yes. There we go. So I'm going to close up my design space because I don't need it now. Turn my Cricut off. And we'll push the Cricut back out of our way. All right. So we can do some work now. So there is a little moon here. Some dots, some more stars. So I'm gonna have to poke a, a couple of these stars out. Nope, not the stars, but things. How is that paper? If it's better than that shit I bought off Amazon? 
you kind of open it. Thank you. So my hubby just picked me up two more boxes of these frames. Ooh. Watch out the girly lift. I have a little pokey tool there. How about this? Hubby wants to know what it does. Man, it, it can do whatever you want it to as long as you has a SGV or SVG no. file. No, you don't always need SVGs. You can use uh, JPEGs. Just you have to. That's a whole nother lesson how to show you to use a J JPEG or a PNG. If you use a PNG, it has a transparent background. If you use a J JPEG, it's a background that you have to remove and it's super easy. Okay, so hold this up to the light. See that white paper over there, Jeff? In that mess of papers? You see white in there? Oh, here? Yes. Not that one. Let me see if that's one of them. This is the shittiest paper ever. Don't ever buy this paper. Oh, those, those have stuff printed on them. Oh. No, I just want to blink. Stuff there you go. That's the one. I want to show you what this paper does. I started to do my shadow boxes. Look at look at the see all those. They can't see. No, I'm showing you. Oh. Do you see this yeah. here? Do you yeah. see that in this? Okay, and this is Michael's paper. Look at the difference. They're almost the same as staples. Yep. Okay, so guys, don't ever buy this paper on Amazon. Uh, you'll regret it. This is the Amazon paper. And when you hold it up to the light, I don't know if you can see it in there, but you can see all the pulp, all the paper pulp. So it's kind of transparent and really dark. So when you do a shadow box with this, you see all the shadowing of that. And I don't know how else to show it to you, but it's no good. This is perfect. Oh my gosh. So let me show you this. Where is it, honey? Oh, right here. This is cardstock from Staples, 65 pound, $19, 250 sheets, and it's identical to Michael's paper. The only thing is you pay way more for Michael's paper than you do with this stuff. We lost Martha. She probably got kicked. Jeff, what? did you see what was right here? No. It's a tear thing. You ripped the, the bottom piece off. Very good job. And she's back, guys. Martha is back. Welcome back. Oh, my God. I am you, definitely calling them tomorrow. You keep saying you're going to call them and you haven't yet. Well, I'm definitely calling them tomorrow. It's, this is baloney. Ever since they today, buried, they buried the line, them, it's been worse. I would call them today and tell them to come here, to come to your place tomorrow. That's what I would do. F you. All right. So we ain't running out of paper now. I was so scared I was going to run out of paper. All right. I just want to wipe my mat off here. Get rid of it. Take all these little pieces of paper off. All right. Okay. Come on. Okay, so this was the last piece that went here. So where is the crescent moon? How do you see the moon in this? This is kind of dumb. I don't like how that goes. Could I possibly have it wrong? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Hmm. This one was cut out differently. Because now the crescent moon's facing that way. I don't know. I guess it was supposed to be that way. I don't know. Not, not crazy about it. These are not quite. 
are not quite lining up right. Not even the stars. And the moon is there. The moon looks stupid. I don't know. Have you got them in the right order? I'll check. I'll check. The only thing you can do is bring up the picture. I'm just baby wiping this to get rid of the paper fibers. And then I'll let it dry. Put the fur on it. All right. Okay, so. Man if, man, if you want the machine to cut material and burn wood and all that kind of stuff, get the Cricut Maker 3. Yep, but that's quite expensive. <laughs> it's $500 here in Canada for the Cricut Maker 3. It's yeah, but it's only okay. like, what, $150 more than the Cricut something like that it's not much more no but it does a lot more stuff but mm -hmm. if you just want to cut fun stuff for cards and everything like that the cricket air 2 is the way to go yep or wait till next year there'll be another one out probably the cricket air 3 or they already got that one. I don't know. See, if you don't put a back on this, where you put your lights on, it will show the board. See where the stars are exposed? Wherever you see open area is where you're going to see your back of your board. Hi, Lynn. So that is why I cut out this piece. So I'm going to trim this oh, down. Hey, I got to redo my chat. Too big. So I want to take an eighth of an inch off. Got to refresh. On both sides. It's a little crooked there, but that's okay. There we go. Hi, Lynn. This was all cut in the proper layers. I can tell it is. I just don't understand why the crescent moon went this way and the fireplace over here. Like this does this all doesn't make sense. But it all fits. Nothing makes sense while you're cutting it. You see? All of this makes sense. So these are all the layers. All in order. So because we don't have a whole lot of layers, I am going to foam tape this side. So flip them over because they are in order. Get your foam tape out and run your foam tape all along the edge. Normally, I wouldn't put foam tape on this back sheet, but hey, we want it. We want dimension, so we'll put this last page on here, too, like that. So I only peel back on each strip. I'm going to come a little closer. Okay, I need to make room here because I don't need this now. I've already cut. 
hook them a little bit closer. You can see what I'm doing here. Yeah. It's really hard because I'm working with white, but anyway. So you're just going to peel. Okay, I need to move over because that looks ridiculous. Nope, wrong way. There we go. So just peel back a little wee bit of each side here. Pam says, I have a maker, but I was really looking at the Maker 3. I couldn't justify the upgrade with losing my job and having not even tried using the current machine. Oh, she's got a maker. <laughs> oh, nice. So we're just lining it up and then pressing it where it's exposed. And then I just pull this tab very carefully, but be extremely careful that this doesn't go crooked because it will go crooked, this one piece. So hold it down and put it on straight. Okay, that one's on good. Now I'll line this up. Then line this edge up. It's these ones here that I, the real thin ones, but I really am careful about them because sometimes when you pull that tape, it comes dips a bit and it looks awful, believe me. So there is one page down and it's layered. Ah, you know what, Martha? What, Ruby? Um, I know a lot of things, but what particular thing? Where is that? I gotta go get a light board, okay? Okay, fine. You said to use a light board? So I'm going to get a light board. Okay, oh. fine. Sounded logical to me at the time. I forgot what for, but hey. I like the maker because of its ability to cut fabric uh, for quilting. There you go. There you go. And it burns wood. I think it cuts wood, too. Like uh, Bossom and... I forgot the other wood. But, oh my God, I have got to go take a shower and get ready. I've got things to do, people. It's already 11 o'clock. I mainly have to, well, yeah. Oh, I hate getting gas when it's cold out. But I mainly have to go get canned cat food. And the surge strip for the new computer. And I really, really got to go have dollar beer today, I think. Go play some Kino. Maybe I could win five grand and get a new shed. Get out of the darn house.
And yeah, that's me typing if you want to know. Um, Oh my God, emojis is so much easier to see with your glasses on. Okay, now we see if they respond. Hey, Linda T. And I was watching a little bit of Pink Poodle last night. She can sneak in. See where this white one's plugged in? I need you to take that one out and put this one in. White one what? See the white cord there? You can reach that. I can't. <sighs> yeah, please. Thank you. All right. Oh, my God. What happened to that? What the ever-living... Oh, looks like it fell. Took a little tumble. Oh, no. Is it still going to work? Yeah, it should. Well, we shall see. Zap, all the electricity goes out. <laughs> you the cord for it. It's not? No. What do you need? What kind of cord? A small one. It's a mini? Yeah. Oh. This is must be to the... It's, Hang on. Grab the cord, cord here. I, I don't want to lose the cord that together. That's to my big light board. Good morning, Olivia. Um, I put. I kept the box. My mine came in. I put it right back in it, along with the cord. And then my cousin turned around and gave me one. It's like, oh, man. If I'd have known that, I wouldn't have bought mine. My toes are cold. I hope it still works. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Olivia just woke up. Oh, nice. Okay, it still works. Thank God. There. Woohoo. I told you. Yay. Nice, huh? Now you guys can see what we're doing. Hi. Hi, Olivia. Okay, 
So we're going to put uh, foam down for our next page. Look at how skinny this border is on this one. And I will show you the difference on them. But try to keep them on top of each other, kind of consistent. Not crooked like that. Too late. I'm gonna rip the paper. Oh well, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you decide not to use full strips, you're gonna regret it. Yeah, because you want them papers to lay evenly flat. Yes, like you will see that they're all going to all stay layered like so well, let's put it this way you can't skimp on this project you no. can't you have to get some kind of foam tape i know you can buy little foam squares olivia's knocking oh she is sorry lives welcome hi Liv. good morning everyone <laughs> Did you oh, have a good I, sleep? I did. <laughs> well, then you must have needed it. You did go I, to bed late last night. I, this is I, Olivia. Hi, everyone. The Crafting Panda is Mary. <laughs> yes, I've seen Crafting Pan Panda before. Yep. All right. I'm so just telling you her name. I, I can see chat. Thank you, though, Martha. Oh, didn't know you were there. All right, so make sure you line up the inside border and the outside border. Do you want to read it, Joshua? First page. Go ahead. Ruby, do you have the package that the foam tape comes in for Debbie Baker, please? So okay. she can see what to look for. This is all it came in. Was this here? You get two, two rolls. It's called two rolls, double-sided foam tape, quarter inch by 50 feet. It's not 50 yards, it's 50 feet. So you can see how much I've used on two shadow boxes and I haven't even done two yet. That's how much I used of this on one. So one of these is not really all that much. <coughs> okay, so this is where you want to pull and good it good morning, out. Debbie. Good morning, Linda. Make sure you line it up. Good morning, Lynn. Hi, the man. They are up to date. And push it down. Be very, very careful about the hat. I, honestly, I, I've done it. I just ripped the tape off and pushed it down and had to rip the whole thing off because it did not line up. And this is where you want it to line up. Right here, right there. See? Patience See? is very much needed for this craft. Oh, for sure. Not a craft for me. I love it. It's beautiful. But I haven't got patience. I'm just making sure my strips are lined up down here. That's, to me, what's the most important part is lining up these these borders see they're all lined up now this one here and i gotta line it up here because this will show and pull it off line up this piece Pull that off and flatten. So now we have three layers. Pretty. Okay. Where's my phone tape? Right here. Okay, that's my cue to take a shower. So, Ollie, you got the board. Thank you very much. I'm here. Enjoy. Yeah, Martha has to go out. She's got shopping to do. I think what date is Tuesday. <laughs> Actually, yes. 
God, it even hurts for me to just squeeze those stupid scissors. Good morning, Teresa, bestie. Hi, Hi Teresa. Um, what are you making, Ruby, she says? I am making a Santa Claus shadow box. And no, I don't think it's for sale. I think this is gifts for family and friends. Not for just family, basically. Nope, this one can be for sale if somebody wants to buy it. Oh. I'm not, I don't, I just, I just did this one as a display because this isn't one of the ones I wanted. Right. I want well, the cathedral and the dog in the red truck. Yeah. This is Santa Claus with the fireplace and the tree. All right, so here's my next layer. Oh boy, I hope I put these on right. Yes, you gotta flip them over. And now we're going to line this up very carefully, top corner, before I actually push it. See, I'm pushing that little piece of exposed foam. So let's just see there. And take your time. There's no rush. Line things up. Unlike that cathedral I made, my God, that was a disaster. <laughs> Nothing lined up on that one. There we go. And where did you get the idea for this one from? Did you watch a tutorial or? No, nope, I learned everything on my own because there wow. isn't really any tutorials to guide you through these steps. And they tell well, you to use all the wrong shit. Uh, there is now. Well, yeah, mine. So this one's not quite lined up to where I want it. So I'm going to move it over. And we'll line her up. There. That is good. And that is perfect. Excellent. So you can see the one I did yesterday. This here is one of the ones I cut out. You can't really see it because there's so many layers here through the light wow. board, but you can get the gist of that one too. So pretty. Mm -hmm. That one is done. So she saw the Santa vinyl, but wasn't sure. Okay. There's another one. This is mine. This is my favorite one. It's and my favorite too at the moment. I love the cathedral one. And this one's for Jeff's mom and dad. The cathedral. Oh. This one is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Yes. Yep. So I'm yes. not coloring any of these ones in. They're going to stay just like that. So. I do like that one, and that's for the more purest of Catholic people, I want to say. Which one? The cathedral? The cathedral one. It's a, a pure Christmas scene for them. Yeah. But I do like the red truck. You've converted me. I love the red truck. Yeah. Yeah, the truck is my favorite. And actually, um, where is it? Um... Yeah. This one. This one's for sale too. All right. So we've got a snow globe and a truck for sale. Yeah. This one's for sale too. I just haven't have put it in the light box yet. Have you figured out how much it's going to be or? No. Details to follow. Yeah. I have two extra ones. This one is a demo of what I'm showing you guys. It's not really a demo. I mean, I'm literally showing you guys how to do this. 
And the other one is one I thought I would try coloring it. So that was a demo by coloring it. And I love it with the color. So that's why. Oh, yeah. I hope so, Teresa. This foam tape, Amazon's going to run out of it. And I'm going to be crying. <laughs> Get some more quick. <laughs> yeah. It's quite pricey, though. It's not cheap. Like $31 for two rolls. Oh, wow. um, the three eighths. And I almost it sure is, Panda. It's going to be, she says, this tutorial is going to be such a wonderful resource for many crafters. Yes. So there goes. The, I love that bloody window pane. Oh my God, I love that. So this one, I just have to basically line up the edge here. So let's start over here because this is the most important part that's going to show. Come on, it's stuck. So let's line this all up. Because this is the fireplace frame. And all these layers will show. That's good there. And the stars. Yeah, this one here has to come over a tiny, tiny bit. Teeny, tiny bit. Like that. Nope. There we go. There we go. Right there. Some of these are not perfectly lined up the way they're cut out. I don't know why I'm holding my breath while you're doing that. Okay. okay. Where Could you add a new title to this video? Oh, it's um, it's just that everybody who wants to know how to make a shadow box they won't know where to look because it's working with yeah i'll change the title it would be such a help for other crafters like uh -huh. panda said yep and like you said there's no other tutorial kind of video for them mm -hmm. so guys i need your opinion which one should i do for my son which one Drunk. of all which one? There's two red truck ones. There's this one. That's that big truck. And then I should do this one for him because this one. Oh, yeah. I, with the little black dog I colored in. And his dog is black. Buster is black. You've just admit, you've just decided then. Yeah. So I'm probably going to do this, but I'm not going to do any color on it. I'm going to leave this one white for my son. I just thought I would try mine with the color. This one's mine. And this one is for Sam. Hard to see right now because it's not dark. The light is right two. down on it. But Which is the one with the colored in dog. Yes. This one has several layers as well. This is the one I put together last night. You could see how nice and even all of my frames matched up here. So this is what I'm trying to tell you to get this all straight. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay's truck with dog as well. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. I had that in mind. I thought that was a good idea. When you got the dog. three for that one then. Yep. There we go. Now oh, the sun's off work with the flu. He can't breathe. Oh, no. He's banned to his bedroom. He's not allowed to come I out. He doesn't have COVID. No, he took a test this morning because he was worried too. And it came back negative? He took three and they all came back negative. 
Oh, good. He, he doesn't just trust one. He, he does it over and over. <laughs> Can't say I blame him, really. Well, he's had Nick. He's had COVID before. Ooh. I just press that. <sighs> Sorry, I distract you. No, that's okay. I wasn't paying attention here. I want to line up this frame before anything else. Well, we've gotten a date for the aunt's funeral. It's on the 23rd of December. Wow. At the memorial, you mean? Yeah. Well, it's the, both the memorial and the actual funeral itself. Oh. Um, but it, funerals over here are backed up for at least a month. Wow. Um, Craft and Panda also sees the truck with the dog. It's unanimous. Unanimous, eh? Unanimous. I can't see. I <laughs> just walk up. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, this one is not lined up. Wow, I went way over here, and it's not easy to pull this up. So. When you do it, be very careful. But I do have to pull this up very carefully. Without ripping it. Softly, softly. I just, I could see where it started to go crooked. And it's so easy to go crooked. That's about all I can do for now. Just as long as there we go. Oh, phew. That was scary. Now we're good. Perfect. It's perfect. Perfect. That's going to be hard to get to on the 23rd. It's 162 mile away. Hopefully we don't have a lot of snow and ice. Uh, well, not just that. It's the night before Christmas Eve. Wow. We do a lot of preparation on that day. Thank mm -hmm. you, Pat. Thank you, Panda. It was expected. She was 95 year old and she's been battling for the last 22 months. So, personally, I think it was a blessing. She's not suffering anymore. She's with her loved ones. And she's singing with her angels. Yeah. But, thank you. Oh, I see what the problem is. Forgot to take this one off. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. I've seen these in the shops and I've never actually thought about the preparations and the time it took to do it all. Mm -hmm. It gives you an appreciation of what they went through. Yeah. I mean, it's not a rush and get it done project. You This takes time. Depending on what you're cutting out, that's, that's where it's very uh, <laughs> time consuming. Yes. Where you're cutting everything out is. Oh, I'm just getting a look at what you're putting on next. Oh my God. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> yeah, the Santa Claus one is super cute. So when I get it lined up, I just take that off. Perfect. 
this one here. And There's a rotten pig me. No, it's so far it's good. Yeah, it's been a good little boy, is it? Well, let's just see how good of a boy it bees. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. And this is where you build up your layers. Thank you, Panda. part of Santa. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. You could have a line of them going across a chimney breast, couldn't you? Yeah. All right, here we go with another wind me up. Wind me up with the previous one. No, why did you stick? There we go. They thought it was trying to get away with it. Yeah, before it does that, I want it lined up. Here we go. Push this out. Push it out. So they're straight. Perfect. Now, lastly, now we got this one. How cute is that? Wow. I like it. I love it. Last layer. Coming right up. I mean, they show up way more better at night when there's not a light shining on them. But I have lights all over my room, so they're kind of blocking some of the shadow in it. But anyway... layer it's not as thick as some of them but that's just the way this one is that one here. <laughs> 
Tessa is having fun with that squeaky. Yes, she is. Tiana, too. Both of them love those squeakies. I keep forgetting that Tiana is also still a puppy. Yeah. She sure is. She might be the older of the puppy, but she still is a puppy. Yes, she is. Oh my God, that is so pretty. And Lynn Young says, I have really enjoyed watching you do all these Christmas crafts, Ruby. Everyone has been awesome. Thank you all for the great ideas. You're very welcome. And thanks for watching. We wouldn't be able to do it if you didn't watch. Oh, we would, but we would. Yeah. <laughs> I have an idea for you after this one, Ruby. What? Well, you've all, you've made uh, you've made all things for your daughters and your sons, your grandchildrens. But I found a video on how to make a calendar for dogs. It's an advent oh. calendar for puppies. Oh, cute! <coughs> so, I mean, that's the best I could show you for now. But that's all the layers. That's adorable. It's not as thick as some. I'm sure this one's done. And you could see this one here has a much bigger border than this one. You see? That's and that's cute. where the three eighths and the quarter inch worked perfectly on this. Because this is about three eighths. So, and this one is a tad bit smaller than this one, but it's a different company, this one. This is from a different company. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's how Lynn the says, is. love it. So cute. Yeah, this Santa Claus one is adorable. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so. I want to turn this off. Unplug it. Mine, yeah. Unplug it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me just. Grab my mat. It's all dried now. Put the cover back on it. Yeah, my mat hasn't gotten its sticky back, so I've ordered three more. Okay. So, where is this? I just opened it up right here. All right. So we we'll start by taking this backing off. Very carefully if you're doing this, please, because they are sharp. Yes. And then you want to pull this part out. It's always tricky to get this piece out. Now, inside the Michaels frame, this thing comes inside of it. You have to remove this. This will not allow your shadow box to push all the way down to the front. So you have to remove this wooden piece that's like the mat inside of it. So I just get rid of those. Now, we do have to clean the glass because it is filthy. Believe me. All right. So... Let's start with some lights. Uh, where's my box of lights? And I'm just using these really cheap fairy lights from Amazon. <coughs> I 
Hmm. You need a drink, lady. Yeah, I need to just get up for a minute. Now, I have to open these up. So, are these going to be cooperative? Nope. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, they will. Wow. What have you done for it to be that I nice to you? <laughs> and this one's I'm not going to be cutting. <laughs> no. But I'm just wondering if maybe all these ones I do out, hang on, if I can actually add them. To the line to the lights to make more lights in this wondering let's have a look see let's see let me just add this to here <laughs> let's see what it does this is where oh, she wow. might blow it up <laughs> If we disappear, we'll be right back up due to a technical break. Let's not touch, though. Ah, this one just came right off. Ruby is experimenting, so you don't have to. Well, I threw all these pieces I cut yesterday out. Wow. So let's just check this. Let's not hold it either. No. <laughs> I know it's just get... a small current, but... No, they don't work. Oh, bummer. Well, we can always try something else. Be careful when you're touching it. Yep. So let's try this one over here and this one over here. Nope. No. <laughs> oh well, it was worth a try. <laughs> to get but you can't put them little bits onto a battery. Okay, so you kind of want to pay attention to where a lot of your lighting will be. So we have a crescent moon that's right about here. So I am going to put a piece of light right there. And all I do is just tape this down. Now, if you if you didn't use that white backing, all that, all your brown would be showing in there. That's why I used that backing. Some of these instructions are just not clear. So I like to put a light here in the middle and one over here. So. Put a piece of tape there and put a light up here like so then we're gonna just fold this down like a soul <laughs> yeah and we're gonna get a light going in here but like i'm just folding it whatever way the wire wants to go and i'm gonna put some here I'm going to try to get some lights in this window area where all the stars are. So we've got one there. We have a crescent moon that's basically almost right there. So let me look, see where this crescent moon is. Where are you? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Where's the crescent moon? <laughs> Where are you? You are right about there. Okay. All right. Do you have a little torch or something that you can keep handy just to shine through the backing? No. Ah. Might have been a good idea. Yeah. So I'm going to push this up so I can have another light. 
I just don't have the strength in this hand to turn these damn lights to get them flat. So basically, you want to put lights where there is no lights. Like right there. That's a good place. Do those lights twinkle or flash as well? No. Um, no. no. I was just thinking if you had a, a flashing one behind the, the fire. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Or even the, the tree to sim simulate our trees that flash. I just do my best on putting these lights in. But like you're doing awesome. Yeah. Beautiful things come out of your beautiful mind. And I will carry on saying that for the rest of the time. <laughs> it's true. I mean, what comes out your the ideas that you come up with and the work you make it work yeah so you just kind of want to put your life where there's looks like there's going to be a gap and don't be cheap with the tape yeah she does her shares in the tape manufacturing business <laughs> <No>. <laughs> that would be good wouldn't it <laughs> And this time of year, you can get uh, five rolls in a pack. Very cheap at the dollar store. And try not to put tape on the actual lights themselves. You know? The heat unsticks them? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, got it right. I might oh. pour them in. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that one looks like it needs to be there perfectly. We don't want tape on our lights, just on the wires. And I have three lights left. So we'll put one here. Flatten this sucker. Like so. One here. one here. Now you want a piece of wire sticking out of the actual box itself. So I'm going to do a little bit of an adjustment with this one. I'm going to move it down a little bit. Where I... There we go. I love that. There we go. I pretty much have these all down, pretty much spaced nicely. Is there any wire sticking up other than right there? Now, what I like to do is take my permanent markers. So you see, when this is over top, you can see that one's going to see the stars. So I'm going to take my yellow permanent marker and I'm going to color some yellow. Hi, Patsy. Sister's with us. Hi, sister. And this one flipped over on me. And we'll color this one in yellow. 
I've never thought to put a Sharpie on top of the lights. It changes the color. Ooh, that one's pretty. Okay, so let's color this in again. The yellows. Some yellow, some yellow. And just color these three in yellow to see your night sky. And that one needs to be held down diligently. Stay put. Um, oh, she's just taking a break from putting Christmas stuff up. Okay, so I see I need one more yellow one right here. Now I'm going to take a bit of this dark blue and I'm going to color in a bit of the sky in the blue. And up here. Let's see how that looks. Can't really see it, but I can underneath the table. Yep. Let's put some blue in there. All right. So that's that. That one there. I'm going to just take a little bit of it off. It is pretty dark, that blue. So don't want it too dark. I want that bright light part to come on. There we go. So that part is done. Now, you need to stick this down onto this piece here. Oh, Patty's so, got winds at her place, 28 miles per hour. Yeah, the winds are super bad over there. So for me, I'm just going to use a little bit of this foam tape. I'm just going to cut off some pieces. And I don't want them on my lights. So let's move you down a bit. the piece there so try to stay away from the edge with the lights yeah and and here's good enough Sent on here. We want to center him because this was not a full eight by eight. All right, pull that off. Stick. Okay. Jeff, can you bring me some Windex and paper towel, please? Pat yep. says, well, it can't blow your gazebo down, sis. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gazebo's already down. Already gone. Yep, the wind already damaged that. Okay. Careful, careful. There we go. Yeah. All right, it's all ready to be put inside the shadow box. Let's give this mirror or glass piece a good cleaning. This one don't want to come out good. Thank you. 
Yep. Cassie wants to know are you having fun doing those? Yep. Ever since her daughter showed me how to do all this, told me how to do it, well, told me what to do. There we go, the glass came out. A lot easier to clean. What is that? It's on your desk, I think? No, no it's, on, it's on the glass. It's like a piece of wood. Squeaky clean. Yeah. Well, you're best to get it cleaned before you put your picture in it. Okay, so I always use a piece of paper towel just to hold it now because I'm getting it cleaned. Okay. Ruby, I'll be right back. All right. Pretty darn good. Checking to make sure I've got every ounce of it. Now the trick is to get it back in here. Over top of all these pegs. Ta-da! Now we're going to put this back in. And I always struggle to get this in, but it does eventually go in. Make sure your cord is sticking out. down there. Okay. Close it up. And there is your beautiful shadow box. Look at how freaking cool is that. So I'm going to dim all my lights, turn all my lights off. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see this. We'll see. I'll get it dark in here. Oh, my goodness. Let me turn out lights. Lights, lights, and more lights. Now, as you'll see. There you go. Except the one, the window has its natural light. So, of course, it's not going to show, but you will see this at night. So pretty. So beautiful. Hi, Die Die. So, that is that. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that gorgeous? Our little Santa Claus. This turned out absolutely beautiful. Really, really, really love it. Jen is Patsy's daughter. 
who showed me um, where to get these SVG files. She makes these shadow boxes and oh my God, she's done a ton of them. And hers are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I really am I'm sad about Santa's face because I can't see it. But it I, it's really hard to see these in the daytime. So I'm no use even turning this light on because I'm just wasting the battery. Yep. This is so pretty, this Santa Claus one, my God. I really, really love it. <clears throat> I really do. So adorable. So there you have it, guys. Shadow boxes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just gorgeous. So I'm going to take a little break. I'll come back in and I'm going to put together some other ones. Yeah, you can see the glass is so clean before it has like this blue hue uh, mess to it. Hey, Dai Dai, wake up. Get out of bed. So yeah, your foam tape is your best friend. Sure is. This is so cute. I can't get over how cute this is. So <coughs> I gotta get that in a bag. I'll take a little break and I'm gonna put together. Um, there's two more I gotta do. And there's one more I need to cut out. Oh, wait, no. I already have that one in a frame. So that Santa Claus one is going to be for sale. And so is this one. This is one of the first ones I've done. And I love this one. This is the one with uh, the truck, the red truck, the blue sky. This I did with foam tape as well. Love, love, love this one. So this one's for sale. So is the Santa Claus. So if anybody's interested in these, just give me a PM. You could see all the layers. Check it out. But these light up so beautiful at night. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. How gorgeous these are at night. So myself, I'm doing myself the red truck. This one here is mine. Um, not sure what I'm doing with this one just yet. This was originally going to be mine, but it's not. And this one is Jeff's mom and dad's with the cathedral. And I'm doing myself a cathedral one as well. I want two of them for me, this one and the cathedral one. So I still have to cut out another cathedral and another one of these because one's for my son and one's for me. So that's all I have. Bye-bye. Bye, Martha. Have fun. Happy shopping. So, yeah, this one here, I'm not sure. Uh, this will be one of my last ones I put together in a box because I need my phone tape. I don't think I have enough. I have to order more. Yeah. So I'll put together these two for now. And I got to cut another one of these out for my son because he, he will love this one with the little dog. Yeah. I want the truck, please. We'll go buy some foam tape and then, um, yeah, and you can have it. Anyway, nope, we don't want to do that. 
Okay, I need a little break. I got to get up. My wrist is like breaking off. And I'm not going to have enough foam tape to do all these ones. I have to order more foam tape. Jeez. 50. It's 50 feet. Do you see how much foam tape it took? 50 foot roll for two. That's a lot.
Sorry about that ladies, I'm back now. Yeah, lovely, Patsy, you're right there. I'm out of breath because I've just run up and down the stairs twice. My son's not well, he's got the flu. Oh, and he says, can you do me a favour? Make me something to eat. Bless him. Okay, so if you go and refresh the page, you will see I linked I linked the phone tape for the American Amazon and the Canadian Amazon. And I also linked this box here of the eHome fairy lights. You get 18 in a box. And these are the fairy lights that I've been using. And I also linked that in the video below but you can only buy these from the u.s so they even come with a little tiny mini screwdriver oh bless that's cute yeah, <laughs> yeah. they come with a little tiny screwdriver to change the batteries in them so patsy would make the the truck one yeah i know what she wants <laughs> Oh, Scott, who's ill with the flu, just says, could you do me a favour and make me some food? Oh, good. Bless him. So, yeah, anyway, I, I, linked your, I linked the fairy lights. I ordered two boxes of these because I plan to make these. And I also ordered more foam tape, but I ordered it in the three-eighths. So if you see um, on that link that I put down there, 
you can choose quarter inch, eight inch, three eighths inch, and you will get two rolls of it in the Canadian and both in the American. I guess it's the same company just selling um, one to American side and one to the Canadian uh, Amazon. So Debbie, I linked it. I even marked it foam tape Canadian site, foam tape American site. So you Perfect. guys can just go directly there and get your foam tape that you need. I highly recommend the three eighths because majority of them are in this width of a border. And I, like, that's the first one out of all of them I made that actually took just this quarter inch one. So, um, and the three eighths was cheaper than the quarter inch. The quarter inch is $34 for two rolls. And the three eighths is $31 for two rolls in Canada. How did you work that? <laughs> I didn't what? How did they work that out? It's cheap. I don't know. I, that doesn't make sense, but it is. That's just, it is what it is, right? So, anyway. Um, Morning, yeah. Dai Dai. Hi, Dai Dai. All right. So, Patsy was saying use the straws like us, like Jen did. The straws? I yeah. I'm using Michael's boxes. The straws are too thick. Right. They're thicker than the foam board. I can't use them. So, unfortunate for me. Um, so, I do need to cut out another one of these and another one of these. I do have enough fairy lights to make. How many do I got left here? Because I got a new box coming. I got two new boxes are coming. And these have been the best fairy lights I ever purchased. I always buy them from the Amazon. Four so I have left. four. So I have enough to put. Um, I have one already made here for Jeff's mom. This was made for the cathedral. But um, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol and change this yellow one to a blue one and this blue one to a yellow one because. I put the other one on wrong. And plus, I didn't have all the color, all the layers of that one. It was just that's the way it printed out. So, Patty says, iron the straws flat. And Nancy, are, are, are there plastic straws or paper straws? Like, Jen's going to have to show me how to do that, sister, because I don't know how to do it. How do you, uh, how would you iron a straw flat? It's still going to be too thick for these Michael's frames. I'm telling you right now. And Nan says, thank you for straw. sharing your time and talents. That straw needs to be one sixteenth of an inch. And to me, the foam tape, yes, it's pricey, it's expensive, but this does the job. This actually makes it very professional. So... Um, if Jenny uses straws, but she also uses the Ikea frames that we can't order online because she told us that night you can't order Ikea frames online. You have to actually physically go to the store to buy their frames for $5. And they are like 10 by 10 frames. And I think they're bigger in the shadowy depth. So I can I have easy access to the Michael frames. I don't have access to Ikea because there's no Ikea here. She's going and to ask niece, her tonight when she gets home from work. Yeah, because my niece, um, she's a huge cricket, cricket worker. She does some amazing stuff. Okay, so what I want to do is basically I want to get started in cutting out my next two because these two do take a long time to do. And I'm just going to set this to the side for a minute and get my other two cut out. And... Again, I'm going to show you guys what I do because I've already cut, I've already cut one out. I don't want this to be on cords here. I've already cut one out of the Cricut. On the Cricut, I cut out the um, snowman one. Have you got enough room at the back for the tray? Yeah, I'm making sure of that. Cool. Yeah. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to move this bottle of glue. Make sure I have lots of room in the back. I'm just going to move this out of the way for a minute. And I'm going to pull out my tray again. 
I'm going to grab some Michael's paper for now because that's at least, let me see if I have enough. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have enough. And we're going to start cutting out another design so you guys can see how intricate these ones get. I should have went potty, but I sat in my living room on my computer adding all those links for you well, guys. go potty. Before you I do, oh, when you cut the first one, go for a potty break. So I cleaned this mat. You guys saw that when I finished with it. It gives it a little bit more stick. If worse comes to worse, I'll pull out a new mat because I have new ones. But for now, I think this is going to work. Now you want to change your needle. Like I've told you, when you start a new project, um, a new put a new needle in. Put a new needle in. Yes, ma'am. Always put a new needle in because it will cut all the delicate stuff for you. Now, you do not need to throw this needle away because this will cut your vinyl and everything. So I'm not going to throw. What I actually do is take these needles because they've only been used to cut is leave them there. That's the old one. Yeah. So I'm going to put a new one in. We're going to put it inside our machine very carefully. We're going to cover up this with this little plastic coating and throw it in there. Okay. So let's go to Cricut Design Space. Let's find my mouse. Let's go share screen again. And let's go to Cricut Design Space. All right. My husband is making himself chili Ooh, with black beans. <laughs> <laughs> now you you did what you want to do last night. It's his turn. <coughs> Gag. 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 All right. I'm going to go to my projects because in my projects I have the cathedral. So let me just go show you quickly. Let's go to Etsy. Uh, let's bring this up. Let's go here. Let's go to Etsy. Okay, and up here in Etsy, type in 8 by 8 shadow box SVD. Okay. Oh, look at this one. So what oh. you're going to, yeah. Um, I have this one, this Merry Christmas shadow box. Look at the fairy one you can get. Yeah. And see this? You can actually buy this SVG to cut this. Out, cut out your own shadow box frame. So I'm oh, going to wow. buy it. I'm going to buy this right here. So... I'm going to stop sharing just for a minute. Thank you very much. I was just about to shout at you. Get a code. Oh, jeez. Where is my phone? Yeah, it sent a code because I'd never buy anything on this computer. So I have to put this code in. It's just because I'm working with my personal information here, and that's just not smart to, you know, put this in there. Um, okay. Click continue. So I'm going to buy this. Let's cut this out, and let's see how this shadow frame works. You guys want to do that? Yeah. I need you guys' this. I need you guys this, uh let me know. Well, I mean, I need to buy a new cricket because mine's not big enough to do that. Stuart! <laughs> He's at work. He's on days. Oh, damn. I know. That's all right. I'll, I'll sit down make and watch the videos. All right. Download. We are going to go to... i got to clean up my desktop before I have a shit fit. Yeah. Let's see how good of a shadow box this is going to make us. Let's see if this was worth the $3.48. <laughs> well, 
Wow, <laughs> big spender. Uh -huh. All right, so we can go back to sharing screen now because my personal information is no longer here. So, oh, and he's killing me. All right, so we're back. Okay, so let me go and what is this bonus? Bonus rolled assembly. What? Okay, let's extract this. I don't know what this is. Going to the desktop. It should make its own folder. Oh, crap. It didn't. Oh, it's giving me a flower thing. Oh, very nice. Okay. I need to do some cleanup here before I lose my shit. Um... I know all this stuff. No, why did it do that? Jesus. Get lost. Oh my God, I am losing my shit. These are the roses. Okay. Um, okay. I really don't want these on my desktop right now. So let's just get rid of this shit. Let's get rid of this. I will, um, no, get rid of, where's my garbage? Oh my God. <laughs> my desktop is a mess and I'm going to lose it. Um, this goes into my Cricut folder. Where is that? Down here. Cricut. 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 Let's move all these SVGs into Cricut. Uh, that that png pdfs this is also cricket stuff uh cricket assembly rolled flower i guess that's instructions of telling you how to do this Oh my god, I did it again. Oh, Patty saying flowers are a pain to do, sis. 3D, yeah. they are plain. Are pain. Yes. I can imagine. All right, shadow box is what we're going to be making. That can go into the cricket because I'm not making those right now. Garbage and layer. Now let's get organized. And uh, so this you're going to have to start collecting your cricket. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make a new folder because I saw what that did. And I'm gonna click OK. And it should have made me a new folder. Yeah, I'm glad it did. I did that. Because that would have been all over my desk. Okay, so we'll go in here. Let's go to Canvas. Let's go to Upload. Upload. Browse. Desktop. Shadow box frame. So we need oh, the SVGs only. So SVG. Upload. SVG, upload. Now, what else is in here? Let's have a look. Is there any PNGs? Uh, JPEG. There we go. Oh, what is that? I have no idea. We'll just use complex. Click that. Apply and continue. It doesn't hold the slots for the different pages, does it? I don't know. I'm just looking at the slots that's cut into it. Well, I'm going to turn it into a... Oh, my God. That is bad. Okay, we don't want this. 
I don't know what that is. No. This is where you come in five minutes' time and think, I needed that. <laughs> oh, that's what it's for. Uh, nope. All right, let's go open some of this and see what we can read for instructions. <clears throat> Um, let's go to view large icons. That's what I like to look at. That's a video tutorial. That's SVG. What are these files? That's a JPEG. That's a PNG. Ah, let's try to upload the PNG. Oh my God. Are you serious? One, two, three. That's four sheets. Yeah. Oh, well. Let's see what it gives us. I don't want to do print then cut. No. But I really don't know what that is. But we'll upload it anyways. I mean, it looks like them blue ones just in a straight line. Thank you for purchasing our shadow box frame. Click on the link below to watch the video tutorial of the shadow box frame. Copy and paste this link into your web browser. We are at your service. Oh boy. Well, we're not going to, I'm not going to be able to make that because I wouldn't even know. Because I do have the score tool now, too. So I can score. Yeah. Um, SVG score. Important. Score line for Cricut. It is recommended that when you upload the SVG score file into the Cricut design space, you must ungroup everything. Then you must select all the layers that correspond to the folding lines and assign them the score line type by clicking on line type equals score. Okay. Then you must select each piece with its respective folding line layer and attach it by clicking on attach icon at the left bottom. When you've attached each piece with its respective folding, then you can send it to be cut. All right. I see. So this here is the score one. Okay. I get it. All right. Let's go to here. Let's click on both of these and add them to Canvas. Ooh, those are huge. Yeah. All right, this is what they want you to do. So I'm reducing this down. Ungroup them. Are they all? No, okay. So that's one page. That's another page. So click on ungroup. Now, now remember, you've just ungrouped that one, not the other page. Right. But see, I see the scoring lines here, and I don't see them there yet. But see, I have to ungroup each one of these. These are not. This is all ungrouped. Yeah, you've just ungrouped them. Yeah, why isn't these? All right, I don't get it. Um, I would do back, back, back because you moved that square at the beginning. Yeah, I know. Um, I mean, they would have had it perfect. It don't matter the way this is placed, but I can't even ungroup this. Okay. Unlock it, maybe, to ungroup it. No. Nope. Well, I can't see these score lines. And the other ones, they it shows you them. Yeah, but you have to click uh, up at unless, the top where it says basic cut. Hang on. Unless, let me just lock this back up. Unless it's this one that's the score one. Yep, this is the score one. Ah. Oops. Oh. <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, 
Now, what you need to do with this, if you look what I've got clicked on, it says basic cut. You have to go up here and click score. So this here will score this. So lining up perfect. Yeah. I think it needs to move down one. You don't score the very top. No. That doesn't fit there. Huh. But it fits there. Yeah, but where's... Uh, it's showing it here. Unless it's this one. Aha, uh -huh, it belongs here. So you got to line this up, which is a pain in my ass. So I am going to have to blow this up. Blow it up a little bit. A little much. And re-try to line this up with this. So this is what you have to do. Line it up. Okay. And now we need to move over a bit. Grab this one. Move it over. So this one here, you're going to line it up here. Does that look good? Yeah, it looks good here. Did this one only have one? See, this one's only got one set of score marks. So it's not scoring this. Did you, the second one, did you put that on the score? Oh, shit, no. Before you move that one in. Basic cut, you want to click it to score. I get how they want you to do this now. It's not going to be perfect. And we're going to change that. To score. But I don't understand why this one doesn't. I'm just wondering if you can move it up one and then click score again for it to score that part. I might duplicate one of them. Uh oh, no, <laughs> missed it. No. There you go. I'm going to change this to score as well. You know how you line it up with the bottom ones, bottom lines, or to the yeah. left, uh, to the right. I'm just wondering if you could line it up to the left and then type score again. Uh, this one here, I'm going to delete it. Um, this one here, I moved it a bit. I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm just going to move it over here. Is that possible? Yes, please. Yes, please. Let's see what I'm doing here. I could Mormon make, Jeff. Huh? I could make you beanless. Yeah, but that'll really hurt my tummy. It the will? spices, the chili, yeah. Well, I won't put anything hot in it, though. I, I'd rather not. I'm not a big fan of chili unless you're going to make me a hot dog. Yeah, hot dogs? No. They do go good on hot we don't eat hot dogs. Okay, so let's change that one. That one says score. 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 That one needs and to change. score. Nope, I did all. not see you say it do that score. Okay. Okay, so we are going to group it. Oh, sorry, no. No, because you've got to move it. it. Yeah. We've got to attach. We've got to attach. Attach. And attach. Now, 
Let's group it. Now I can back out a little bit. I really don't know what all these are going to be for. Yeah, because they have got the score mark no more. And this here, I don't really know what this is for. Hmm. Oh, you know what? What? Oh, I'm just thinking of something. Um, why would they have this as a score? Why would this be a score? I don't know. They're both the exact same size. But one says score, one says normal. Yeah. Well, move it over, do what you did with the bottom one, see if it works. Uh, duplicate. Delete. Move them over. The thing is, is what I'm concerned about, that's 10.054, that's 10.054, that's 10.054 and 10.054. So let's just make it and see. Okay. Let's I don't really that. know. Let's group everything. Let's click make it. I don't know why I'm making double. Let's see how it sorts it on the mat. How many mats? Oh. Wow, that is flipping huge. And I didn't have these score lines matched up. Um, so this is going to take 12 by 12 paper. You know what? I'm not going to waste my 12 by 12 paper. No. I'm just not going to make this right cancel, now. Cancel. I want to watch the video. So I'm actually just going to get rid of this for now. I mean, if it wanted you to do it that way, why didn't it just say uh, duplicate the second one onto the first one? Yeah. Why could it at all? Yeah. I don't understand. I'm not wasting my 12 by 12 paper by screwing up. So I'll watch the video and the video will tell me exactly what I need to do. Okay. Let's go to my projects. So there's the cathedral. Let's go to customize it and click replace because I want to make sure there's the right amount of pages layers in this one. Two to eleven. Okay, so this one here, it doesn't have a back, a backing. So remember what I did before? Let's go to upload, go to view all, and I'm going to add the blank backing that was right here. I'm going to add that to my canvas so it cuts it out as well. Good idea. So we'll have an extra eight by eight in there. So click, oops, hang on. Let's go to group and let's go make it. See, when I made the, the first cathedral one, I didn't cut this out. I okay. missed that one. I missed this one as well and <laughs> this one. And Martha's like, where's the trees? I said, what tree? She goes, there's trees in the cathedral. I said, no, there ain't. She goes, yeah, they're right in the front. <laughs> I was like, oopsies. <laughs> hey, oh, you, you, yeah. Yeah, this time I made sure I cut it out properly. Okay. Okay, so what you do is go back here to... Basic because this is page one. 
This is the very first that goes on top of your shadow box. This will be the very first one. So let's hit continue. And it's set for 80 pound cardstock and that's been just doing just fine. So we're gonna shove this guy in and we'll stop screen sharing so you guys can see. All right, let's turn this off and let's go back to normal. All right. Yay. Let's print. So it's going to do really nice, intricate cutting because it's a brand new, fresh needle. I do not know why it's doing that. It's giving itself all different markers. All right, you go potty. Why is it cutting over here? Hey, let's cancel this. Yes. What is this doing? Is the paper the wrong way around? It's cutting out all the numbers right onto my mat, Paige. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. What's the ever living F? I didn't know it was on there. Yeah, let's go back here and go to cancel. I'm going to turn this off, turn it back on. Yes. Oh my God, I can see all those freaking numbers. What the ever living F are those? All right, let's go to cancel. Uh, so where... You've got to go through each one and remove uh -huh. the cut for the number. Yes. Ouch. All right, so back up, back up. Let's go find out where all these numbers are. I'm going to ungroup everything. Um, may we see what you're doing? Oh, so, shit. oh sorry. Yes. I ever get one. <laughs> so what I did is I ungrouped them. So now I'm just going to start moving them to see if I could find where these damn numbers are. Patsy's still with us. She's just cutting out more snowflakes for the window. Oh, okay. I think if you zoom in, you might see them better, Ruby. No, they're very tiny. I saw them right on the mat. Yeah, but if you zoom in, you'll be able to see them on the cut. Okay, I'm zooming out because I need to find these damn numbers. I know they're not on this one. So I'm going to hit attach. Because I've got a feeling the numbers are separating off of these sheets because they're not attached. Ah. Attach. So let's see when I go to print all these out. If they show up on the mat, you'll see all the numbers they just lit up all across. So it was cutting, it was cutting on my mat. It cut right over top of my mat all the numbers. Ouch. Nan's still here. She's cross stitching. What are you cross stitching, Nan? Where are you up to? Touch. So this might be something we all need to do, attach. It might be to hit save again once you've done it to override it. Yep. Attach. And I could see, see it's attaching something to it. So it's probably yep. a damn number. So if you look when I click on this, it shows the two layers, but they're not attached. All right, so let's group all of this. Group them. Let's go to save as. 
Cathedral and click Save. So now what I need to do is go into my projects here and delete, delete oh. the other Cathedral because this one here, whoops, this one here, oops, delete, yes. That is nearly completed the November month piece. All right. Truth be told now, let's go send this to the mat. And let's see if we can see how blurry that is. There we go. Let's see if I can see those numbers again. Because that was stupid. I see something. I see something right here. Right there. What is this? It's a number. It's a pity you can't just delete that so you've only got the main. You know, when you unattach it. Yeah, but it's not letting me delete that. You can't delete this off the mat. No, you can't off the mat. You'd have to go back into what you've just done and unweld it and ungroup to delete the number. Do you know in what order they come in? Does this one have a, an attachment? Ungroup. This one here. What is Down this? a bit. It grays out on the right hand side. Let me just attach that. It says a one and a three. So that's number 13. Oh, yes, I see. This is page 13. Yeah. Okay. Let's go detach. All right. Let's go back to this. Hide it. Yeah, we're going to hide it. We're not going to cut that. Now back to grouping these back to making it yeah but you're going to see all the rest of the numbers aren't you nope it's oh. just those two numbers see look at that now i don't see any numbers over here cool one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve yeah i think there was only eleven this one here, see, no numbers now. Right there, they're Good. gone. All right, let's go to continue. Oops. No, back. <laughs> All right, go to one. Let's see if I'm just going to reuse the same page because I don't think it's going to matter. Right. Full screen. Oh, shit. Nope. It's got to come out and then go underneath. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now let's see what it does. Nan, I love the November one. It's so pretty when it's done. Right, you need a potty, Ruby. I know. So this is page 11. Ah, there. That wasn't welded in it. I'll show you that when I come back. That's page 11, so it was right. Cool. You needed to attach them, or they'll just end up all over your mat. So this one's done, so you might as well just, I'm just going to finish it first. So when you take this off, remember, use your spatula mola. And this says 11 in here. That's page 11. So that's your very first page you're going to mount. There you go. <laughs> that's pretty cool. <laughs> it says 11. See? Perfect. Yeah. So. If you could see my mat, it's got all the numbers carved right into it. Okay. 
So now this is going to be page 10, I guess. Uh, who knows? Well, I'm Anybody's kind of guess. Now. I'm kind of glad it does have the numbers. Yeah. So he's guessing out of it. Well, now I know what to watch for. So now you guys need to watch for that, too. I need a bigger machine first, unless I can do a mini one. Yeah. My niece, I asked my niece about shrinking these down, and she said, you got to be careful because it distorts them. Yes, yes. All right, that's doing some intricate cutting, so let her do its business. Nan, how are you getting on with the, the other ones? I'm finding it hard to distinguish the colours on the December one. You know the where the door is with the wreath? It's very hard to tell what colours goes where. Are you coping with the, the colours on the December one? Or have you not seen it yet? I'm finding it very difficult to to see what colour goes where on the door, especially where the wreath is. But if you've not looked at December, uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Better take the pattern out so I know what I'm on about. Hi Linda, how are you? Ruby's just on her phone. I have to give you guys a show. Hey, Tessa! <laughs> Tessa! Look, you did princess. Tessa! Hi! Tessa! I'm Biden. Thank you. 
<laughs> She's Tessa. so little. Her incision, look Tessa. at her little tattoo. See your little tattoo? Yeah. Where she got awesome. fixed. She's my little princess. Her and Tiana. They're so good. <laughs> We taught it in uh, nursery school, Patsy. All the children made snow flakes out of newspaper and paper and crepe paper. Linda Shaw's with us. Hi, Linda. Ruby. That's Tessa, the puppy. Hurt my knee, Ruby. Yeah, every year Patsy makes those snowflakes. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, can you maybe bring me in a leaf and see if that will help take down some of the swelling? Oh, it made a cuck -a poop mess up there. What's swollen? My carpal tunnel in my hand is so bad. Ah. Why tried, are you not getting it done? I tried this thing here, but it's already gone cold. It's a hot pad. Put my hand on it. Yeah because I just can't stand the pain and keeping me up all night going numb and tingling. Yep, Stuart had it done. Rolling in here. Oh yeah, Stuart's had the procedure done. He's had both his wrists cut. Yeah, I, want, and I done. want to skip that procedure, thanks if I can. Okay. Oh, he's never had a pain with it since, so. I wish I could fast forward this for you guys, but I just can't. It's cutting trees. I really don't know what it's cutting, to be honest. Uh, Patty says, rub double D40 oil on your hands. Oh, it's doing the steeple, the church, and the trees all around. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that, says, sister. I heard about how that. are you? Linda wants to know. I'm good, Linda, other than my carpal oh, tunnel Donna. screwing me up. But I do want to show you, look, while this is cutting out, I've gotten, I should be sewing these while I'm just waiting. I've gotten all, all of them sewed, turned oh, inside. I need to re-sew this one because I screwed it up. So I might as well do that while we're waiting for this to cut. She says, get the surgery. She's had it done. Who? Patsy. Yeah, I'm not getting it done because then I'll be off work. And your problem with that is? Well, you know. You'll be off work. You just said the, <laughs> the magic words. And those ball poses are not stopping your mat, other. This one I had to re-sew it because I didn't catch part of the, the fabric. Okay, Nan. So let's see if it caught it now. And this is what killed my hand too the other day is turning all of these full cozies. Like, look how many I did. All of these. <laughs> well, when are all you due back at work? Oh my God, no wonder, you, it's, no wonder your arms are not ripped off at the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. Well, the day you go back, just tell me you need time off to get your carpal tunnel done, and then you're going to take another month off work. Just a month? Yeah. It's not worth it for a month. Um, Stuart went back to work the same day he had it done. Gee. Yeah. It's an outpatient appointment. Yeah, I know. You're in and out. Yeah. Okay, where's the none do you see what i mean about the where the door is it's hard to tell what the colors are <coughs> nan's got to look at the december cross stitch for me i shouldn't be using scissors too no go these corners but you know 
I probably should have trimmed that. Dang it. So, <coughs> this one here I had to re-sew. What's your mat? Yeah. yeah. Um, has it stuffed up just where it's cutting now to the left of it? It's like a little yeah, gap. It, 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 okay. does, it does do that. Pat has asked Jeff to do the corners for you. Oh, they're all done. I don't have to do them anymore. They're all finished. I sat one night, I sewed all of these all together, and then I sat one evening and turned them all inside out and lined them all up and got them ready for the top stitch, like I did with all those. And the top stitching will close the hole that's here as well. Watch your mat. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, this was the big bowl cozy. That's for the special <laughs> bowl. Probably should iron them all, but I'm being extremely lazy about that. We ain't getting ironed. You've got a month to do it before you need it. No, I got to get these in the mail. My son's and Jeff's mom's. Oh, got you. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've got to do the the shadow box as well. So. Yeah, that's why I'm trying. Oh, I know that's why it took so long for my box because I was waiting for stuff to come in. Oopsie! Shh. That's a secret. For who, Martha? No, Martha's not here. Oh, okay. Well, I sort of like <coughs> said I would send somebody some stuff, so. Oh. It's in the pool. <coughs> Out of my hands. There we go. I did the big bowl cozy. That was the big one that didn't get quite so. As soon as I start touching fibers, it makes me you cough. cough. Yeah. Where's your water? Wow, it's doing some real fine detail in here. All okay, little tiny man, I'm trees. getting a pen. Yeah, might as well go because it ain't done. Because my eyes are crap. <laughs> right, the door's brown. It's green. Oh, there's a ball. Must be red. <coughs> Thank you, Nan. I've been enjoying doing the seasons. I have to be honest. <coughs> In the November one, do you mean?
go. One top step. One down. Oh my one gosh, one to go. So cute. <sighs> okay, sure deep heat is not working on the knee. These are really, really cute. Oh, one bowl cozy to go. Yay. All right. This one is very intricate. So be very careful. Very careful. This is page eight. And this one here you want to lift very carefully. These little skinny evergreen trees. And then we've got lots of birch trees. Middle so. of November, there's a bull. Let me get my November up. Oh boy. That's careful. We don't break all the branches. Yeah, I've got brand new reading glasses and everyday glasses and they still don't bloody work. <laughs> oh boy, that just broke right off. That piece. Damn it. Um, let me see, can I get all right wow extremely intricate this <laughs> the first two blocks of green okay that came off easily all right Very careful. Hold your breath. Yeah. All right. We got it off. Whew. That was a nightmare. There's a lot of weeding that I have to do, but that's not a big deal. Um, I need to block off some against this. All right. Where's the paper? Oh, right underneath me. Underneath. Now. Oh. Can I just show table? Nan the November one? Nan, are you watching the screen? Yep. Hang on. I gotta remember where it is. That's the November one done. Right, and put it back on you now. <laughs> okay. As soon as I get this. All right. I like to work from the bottom up, so I counted from the fence to what I needed. I use a lot of pins counting because my eyes don't see a damn. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Thank you. Not bad for my third attempt. All right. I'm going to just move this a bit out of my way here. And do some weeding. These birch trees are ever so delicate. I thought I'd get a head start because Ruby's busy on all this Christmas bit. Do you not have a weeding tool from uh, Cricut or Sizzix? Yeah. Would that not work better? It doesn't always, like some of these tips are not quite cut right through. 
Uh, okay. So I just snip them with the snips. Yeah, Ruby likes to work from the top downwards. <coughs> I think we all get into a routine that works for us the best. Yeah. I mean, me, I use a lot of pins to map things out. But there's nothing wrong with that. No, to each their own. Yeah, exactly. As long as it works. If it works for you, then, yeah. it, then it works. One of the sun ate his food. Still reading this and that one finished already. <laughs> I think this was probably one of the longest ones. <clears throat> Those birch trees look perfect now. Now we just gotta weed out some of the stuff between the evergreens. See, it doesn't always snip them nicely. Yeah. Can't be the post yet. It's too early. Yeah, probably the post. I think that's it. One little piece right there and one right there to make them look so real. So this is Happy saying shouting. Eight. Jeff, what? stop teasing the dogs. <laughs> Missed a piece here. Missed a piece there. So do those look good? Look at how intricate that is. <laughs> yeah. Right? Wow, it's like a oh, it's like a fossil. Exactly. It says it's page 10. And again, you gotta you gotta really weed this out because I always see little, oh, like little, but it always snags it. But you can get them. Right, you do realize you're dropping them onto your mat, so you've yep. got to pick off again. <laughs> I haven't picked it yet. <laughs> that one cut yeah. out quite fast. I have to admit, Nan, Ruby has taught me everything I know about cross-stitching. Oh, that page is a bit cockeyed. What is? Oh, is it just my eyes? Oh, it was my eyes. Never mind. Whoa. Nan says, holy cow, that's unbelievable, Ruby. Oh, I know. Get off. So now I need to pick these out. A little holes. Some of them sometimes give you a headache to take out but I just try to push them to the back yeah knock them off one hole at a time yeah it helps if you've got good company to talk with them too yeah oh that one came off that one came off All right, so I'm going to just try my best to smooth this out because the needle pushed it. 
star. Let's see if there's anything that needs to be weeded. Ooh, let's move it back. This one's page nine. Cool. Go. Ta da! Ta da! So that's page. Let's take this one out. This one's not quite cut all the way through. So that's where these little snips come in handy. There we go. Let's move it along. Page nine. So 11, 10, 9. All right. And I think it's best to use 65 pound card stock. That's how that goes so far. I love these little trees. I'm not coloring in anything on this one. I'm mm -hmm. just going to put a yellow light right there where the, the moon is. Leave it traditional. Yeah. Yep. And that's it. Perfect. It's perfectly perfect. <laughs> <clears throat> Grump is due in any minute. Look at her multitask. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'll be right back there, just, just checking on the sun. What? I'll be right back. I'm just checking on the sun. Okie doke. I 
guess it's flu season, people are going to start getting the flu, especially influenza, which I haven't gone for my flu shot yet. I think I'm going to this year. So much shit going around in this world. Um, back. Patsy says there's a lot of flu going around, sis. Yes, there is. Yeah, no. And it's getting confused with COVID. So people are getting saying I've got COVID when actually they've just got the flu, but mm -hmm. it happens. Yeah. Still a lot of crap going on. When are around. you coming back, sister? Yes, Patsy. I thought you would when be back by back. now. Come on, hurry up. Tell me some more lies. Hurry, quick. I need to I need to hear more lies. Oh my goodness, it's cutting another birch tree. Oh, it cut all the windows perfect. Yay. Oh, I'm so glad about that because all the last one I had to fight with those windows. Yes, Pass is only a fight for four days. Yeah, and now with this new damn virus called Omicron. Yeah. It's already in Canada. It's already in the US. It's already, it's God only it's knows. Everywhere. Yesterday we had 40 cases in our city. Excuse me, you heard me. Get your ass back here. If you know what's good for you. Yes, man, we've got to keep crafting and carrying on. Yeah. Yeah, if it was all just the flu, Patsy, why are people testing positive for COVID? Come on. Why are people dying of COVID? If yeah, it's just why the flu? People, well, people die of the flu, too. Not into this extent, though. I Not these numbers. Yeah, I. you've got to be extremely ill to die from a the flu influenza <laughs> like she really is scared i'm scared <laughs> oh i'm scared <laughs> she always raises <laughs> you still didn't answer when are you coming back tell me some lies so i can fall through on them she'll say i'll be back in a week i i did ask you yesterday what time's patsy coming back I told you I didn't know because she doesn't ever say when she's coming. She just lies to me. She just gives me excuses. I'm coming next week for, for sure. And then I call up two weeks later. I'm like, where is she? She was supposed to come last week. Uh huh. Come on. Come on, sister. Cough up some more lies. I knew you weren't coming back. You should have just said that. Just think. Just think. I've got no room to talk. It's been, what, two years since I've seen my sister? Yeah, but do you guys, do you guys live in the same town? Oh, no, she lives Newcastle. I live down Nottingham. Yeah. Patsy lives down the street. Wow. I'm coming back, girl. <laughs> well, I told Martha last night, you watch, I'll be packing Patsy's stuff away again. Page seven. Yes, Nan, we all need to stick together during this festival season. Yep. All right, let's oh, see. Grumpy's home. Good. Our little church turned out. That is so cute. This is the most intricate part of the church with the steeple. It's just a matter of getting it off the mat with all these little tiny twigs, leaves, and tree. 
come on, get off there. Yeah, I'd be petrified of that. It's so intricate. Yeah, but if you take your time and go easy, it comes right off the mat. Hello, have we ever met? I'm Olivia. <laughs> me, me take my time and intricate. I just go in the same sentence. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, my plus has come off. Grumpy's home. Welcome home. I guess you're getting your tea. Not yet. No? No, oh, it's just come through the door. Oh. Uh, yes, Nan, you can say that word. Yes, you can. You can say shit, piss, ass, fucker, motherfucker, <laughs> jerk off. I can't see Nan saying them things. I really can't picture it. You could just say whatever the hell you want. Because I'm not monetized. So, and I'll never be non monetized again because I'm not paying the US government money ever again. I'm not a US citizen. So, why should I give them my money? Pat says, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Well, I can. Why? <laughs> You're going to send her on a, a rant, Patsy. <laughs> No, you shouldn't have to pay their taxes. You don't live in their state or their country. Nope, they took a bunch of my money and they can damn well shove it up their ass. Give it back. Because I'm not filing income tax in the U.S. I'm not going through all that hassle. And believe me, it's humongous hassle. A new plaster on. Well, that was intricate, but look at how nice. Even the windows all cut out so beautifully. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Are you going to lift That's it up so we can see the intricacy? Seven. Yeah. Pretty. See? Yep. Thank you. Yes, so do you see why, sister? You can say motherfucker, piss off, shithead. <laughs> I can really curse you, Patsy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm about choked. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, don't take a drink when you're watching bloody Ruby. <laughs> No, because I'm a whole new person now because I'm not monetized. Thank God I've got an anti-splash keyboard. <laughs> yeah, they do make you do that, sister. Okay, now you can swear all you want. I've got no more drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's coming to wash your mouth out with soap and water. <laughs> Oh, we shall I'm, get there. I'm going to use your famous words. I'm scared. <laughs> no. Ooh, I'm oh. scared. Oh, I'm so Ooh. scared. <laughs> Be afraid. Patsy's oh, the deal on soap. I will rip your face off. I'll smash it with an iron. No. And I'll mash it with an iron. <laughs> what flavor do you want to say? Same flavor you're going to get when I smash your face with an iron. Can we have it on a live show, please? Yes. Because that would be can. funny to watch. Not sure what page <laughs> that is, but okay. should tell you on the bottom there, shouldn't it? It's a big circle. 
Ah, okay. Right. So it's eight. No, eight's done. It's probably six. Because I just did seven. So I think it didn't cut it out too intricately. Well, the <laughs> no, I think I figured out why my mat is not sticky. Why? Uh, because when I washed it with a baby cloth and then I put the plastic straight on, I didn't let it dry out properly first. Oh, why not? Because I'm impatient and I haven't got patience. Yeah, I think that's the next page. Yes. <laughs> I'm not saying that, Patsy. Nope, sorry. Yeah, okay, I can read. <laughs> yeah, after I drift you into next week. <laughs> Give me the next month's num uh, lottery numbers then, please. Yes, I'll drift you so hard into next week. When you wake up, your clothes will be out of style. <laughs> <laughs> that there's fighting talk. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't see for tears now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, snort. Don't snort. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, I'm going to mute you. <laughs> mute. Oh. Oh. Okay, fun over. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, Linda, I can't breathe. <laughs> Nan, you're scaring the you're scaring the viewers now. Nan, scared. <laughs> Oh, that was Lord. a good one, Patsy. Well done. <laughs> that I've not heard that after one. You wake up. That will be after you wake up and your clothes oh. are out of style. <laughs> oh my goodness! Right, the tears are streaming down my face. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Sorry, guys. No, you're not. <laughs> I had to blow my nose. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying. <laughs> my nose isn't running, it's just running. If she only knew how not scared I am. Because <laughs> I'll be clowning her first. She's going to get the first punch. <laughs> That's what I say to my brothers and sisters. You better make sure I go down first because if I get back up, Oh, run yeah. like hell. You better knock me out cold because if I get back <laughs> up, <laughs> Google will never find you either. <laughs> oh my lord, I like that one. Oh my god. Wait until my children say something to me. I'm gonna knock you out until Google won't find you. <laughs> <laughs> Ron will just go, what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm muting while I blow my nose. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm so scared now. <laughs> Jeff, lock the doors. <laughs> Google won't find me if she comes here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Stop, please. Oh, my eyes are tearing up so bad. <laughs> yeah, I can't see the chat. <laughs> She's, She's, always always gotta be a one -up. She's always going to one up me. I tell her she's going to get knocked out if she doesn't come up with a good one. Well, I can honestly say she won that one. <laughs> she sure did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just so funny. Uh, you need to stand up, lady. You've been oh. alive an hour more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to pee again. Oh, oh. my God. That was effing fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to say fuck you, Pat. <laughs> oh my god. I like the way you say effing oh. and then you say the proper word. What? I like the way you say effing and then you'll say the proper word. Oh yeah, of course. You don't I don't have to use short term and <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. 
Patty says, here's a little trick. When you laugh so hard, peen your pants. I just wear depends when watching Ruby's show. <laughs> oh, you are a star, Grandad. He's not well. <laughs> Grumpy's here. See, Patsy, you've scared us so much she's run off. <laughs> Teresa says hi, Grumpy. Hi. There you go. She's got to see if she can find herself on Google. <laughs> She's got to change her knickers. She's peed her pants. I wonder if you can get a commode in your computer chair or your crafting seat. <laughs> That's what I need for this show. You changed your knickers. No, I didn't. I didn't well, you've got to look to see if Google found you, you find again. On Google. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Google my name. You'll find me. I'm all over the damn place on Google. You seek her here. You seek her there. You seek her every bloody way. And it's a good oh. idea to clean my gunk from your mat. That gets onto your little thin little spatula, Mala, and this thing. It gets gooey stuff, the scraper. And I just use rubbing alcohol for that. Cleans cool. it very nicely. Very, um, very nice. Have you sprayed your scissors with rubbing alcohol and let them stand? Look, nice and clean. I cleaned nice. my scissors. I even cleaned my Tim Holt scissors that were all full of gunk. Yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. quite nice. Look at their sole. They just flop open now. We're cutting out oh. an intricate tree. Patsy's gone to water the tulips. Tulips. <laughs> <coughs> Leave a quarter. I've sent you the link for the puppy advent calendar. Oh, right. Yes. Video. I want to see that. And she does it for three husky dogs, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I did get the score tool off of Amazon. So this is the score tool. It's obviously a knockoff, but it looks just like the cricket. Yeah. And that's the score tool. See? Cool. And that goes in this part where the pen part goes, where your pen, you put the score tool there. So when you tell your cricket to score, it scores with this, which is pretty cool because it's got a nice little point. Yes. Um, could you show the cathedral one for Grumpy to see, please? The cathedral one? What do you mean? Uh, the shadow box. Which one? The I cathedral think? one? It's not well, fun. anyone, really. No, this um, is the cricket scan and cut. Hang on. This is what Ruby's making live on the show. 
Okay. No, you haven't seen it yet. And hang on, we'll show you in the light box. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do all this. Well, what's so hard about lighting up a light box? Nope. Go back. Other way. <laughs> so this is the cathedral one that's already cut out. See it? Yeah. Well, it's hard to yeah. see, but no, oh, he more... gets the gist of it. Okay, because you see these better at There's, night. Um... And then there's and this one. Nordic yeah. candles like that. This one for me, Grumpy. This one's Ruby's. Mm -hmm. She, like I said, she loves the red truck. I love the little red truck. See? I thought that was um, Sean's as well because of He's the little getting one too. Dog. Sean's getting yeah. the same one. That I said I got a cathedral to cut out and one more of this to cut out. Yeah. And this I mean, one is 13 pages. And then she did a one with Santa Claus. Yeah, I'll show them that one. But that one's all done. It's in the box. But the thing is, I need a bigger cricket cutter to make. Yeah, you can't the... cut it on a joy. <laughs> yeah, you joy. can't cut it on a joy. There's no way to put it. I'll find a place. You're moving out. There's one. Then. There's this red truck, Grumpy. Grumpy. Oh yeah. Okay, one more. One more. I've got my headset in. You can't hear you. I know. But I know you're going to. And there's the Santa Claus. And there's the Santa Claus. Nice one. So I need a bigger machine because my little cricket won't do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And these two are for sale. And these two are for sale. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so. She's going to show you now. this one i have i done it last night but i haven't even put it in a shadow box yet yeah yeah this one's for sale this is a red truck i might keep this one i don't know yet it's skimpy. It's skimpy. will you put them on your etsy store so it'll oh, hell no. that didn't get any money from me either because them and PayPal are going to start reporting you to Revenue Canada, which means if you sell something, you got to pay tax on it. Plus, oh. they take all their fees. Plus, they charge you for shipping. So, yeah. if I pay for shipping, they take a fee for the shipping money that I get. So, rest of the shipping money comes out of my pocket <laughs> now. And that's it. No, so Patsies. It's a sale. It's my ass. <laughs> Well, when you look her up on Google and find it, then you can have it. Yeah. Find me on Google first, and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> Patsy and Ruby. If you don't come back within the week, that red truck is not going to you. It's, I'm selling it. My box. Yep. Olivia's box. <laughs> so, Olivia, you better go sit on your hands and pray Patsy doesn't come back in a week. Oh, but I like the communication between the two sisterly loves. It reminds me of so much of my family. I got Lodge Card on my sewing machine. Please. Okay, that's a new one. I've never heard of that one before. Uh, it just picks right off. It's on the metal plate. I don't know what it's cutting out. This one's huge. Oh, I see. That's a big one. Oh, she can find you. I'll go and get it, Patsy. It did, did a little ripping right there. It's bound to do that. All right. Time to pull this baby off. Again, this one's very intricate. And I did some more pretty trees. Except for right there where it kind of ripped them. That one right there. I can't really tell. So let's remove this first. This is page five, it says. 
Oh wow, the box has left England. Yahoo! The box left England. Well, I didn't track the other one yet. Uh, well, I've had to put it in two boxes because there was more than what I thought. Oh, what did what did you what are you sending? Where are you, where are you sending? Oh, that's got to be really picked to a friend. Um, must be Martha. <laughs> I like bugging you. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> but you just wait. Payback's a bitch and I'm the biggest one. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> can be. <laughs> Trust me, I can. <laughs> That's oh. She'll tell you something. So uh, you've heard it from Grumpy. Not a truer word. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Grumpy. I can be a bitch. <laughs> No, 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 I'm sweet and innocent. I am. I am. I am. I'm oh. am. I got my cup of tea. I'm happy now. See, I told you you were Chuck getting Ripper one. Say again, Grumpy. Chuck the Ripper was innocent. <laughs> Who says? <laughs> if you are. Grumpy and her are just like me and Patsy. <laughs> yeah, he needs to get out. <laughs> He'll just say something. She will get out. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Oh my God. He's giving me tea. He can get out now. <laughs> Stop. That is so mean. That's uh, Ollie. <laughs> that grumpy, so nice to you. He made you a tea. Of course he is. We are well suited. I'm the feisty one. Who's the quiet one? <laughs> yeah, that's Jeff. I'm the feisty one. He's the quiet one. I mean, I don't drive, so when we're out going shopping or anyone, if anyone cuts him off, oh my god, I want to be out that car. I'm going to rip <laughs> someone's head off. <laughs> You're very violent, aren't you? I went, yeah, let me at him. <laughs> you see, I drive though, so I would be cussing them out myself. Oh no, I'm saying catch him up. I'm going to give him the finger. Yeah, yeah. I've even got my fist clenched <laughs> talking about it. <laughs> yeah, road rage, nothing on me. That one is very, very not cut. So we're going to fake it. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. There we go. Cut it out. That piece is good. That piece came out, no problem. Um, you know the <clears throat> you know the Christmas baubles that you bought. The what? The Christmas baubles. Yeah. Did you get them where it comes in two halves? No, that's those ones are not they're not fillable like that one. Got you. Got yeah, those are one solid piece, but they got a big hole at the top. You could literally fill them. Well, the ones I got, uh, they come in two halves. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking it'd be nice to start doing like the grandchildren and the year, like a photograph in the middle. Oh, yeah. That'd be With, super cute. Because I keep all, it was so easy. I am so bad to buy for because I never know what I want. Yeah, me too. I mean, right. I tell my kids to just get me Amazon gift card. Then I can get what I need. I can get my own. Um, but my ex-daughter-in-law, for her, I just say, oh, get me a calendar of Rowan's year, a picture book of his year. Yeah. Um, and I've got all those pictures, and I might start making, like, a personalized snow globe or bauble. With his name, his date, yeah. uh, the year. For the tree, I just need to find a tutorial on it. This one sure didn't cut these trees out very well. They cut it out, but they didn't kick off very good. Um, have you tried a, a piece of low tack sticky paper? Just dab it on. No. 
that might pull it off. Watch your tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching it. It might pull out the little bits instead of picking it all. Yeah, it's coming. They're just so tiny that the mat didn't even pull them off. Yeah. So, but they're popping out pretty good though. Good. Just watch that big tree. It doesn't get sliced. Yeah. There you go. Just pull them out. There's another one. I think I got them almost all. Oh, Patsy's back. She had to plug her eye in. Run, Ruby, run. <laughs> she has an iron. <laughs> she irons. Oh, I can't say anything. I bought a special iron just for my crafts. I know you did. And I also bought a hair straightener for my crafts. Yeah, I saw that. That's a good idea, too. <laughs> Nan. But I don't have anything on those bobbins anymore. Yeah, Ooh. no. You know they ripped it. Nan, how do you store your floss? I got a trick for you if it's the same way. No, she's going to make you buy more stuff. She's enabling you, uh, uh, Nan. Run. Run, Nan, run. You never know. Nan might have a hair, a set of hair straighteners. She might, yeah. Well, that's that. That is page five. This is page four. Ah, so we're going backwards. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Cut it out pretty nicely. Head for the... <laughs> run, Forrest, run. Yeah, run, Forrest, run. How do you store your floss that you don't use? Do you wrap it around a bobbin or a paper bobbin, a plastic bobbin, or how do you store it? <clears throat> a bump right there missed a bit yep right there sure did i know you can put your extra floss on a bobbin where you just wind it around but i found that it's, it makes kinks in your floss so when you come to use it it makes a lot of knots and I found out if you've got any hair straighteners, put it on a low heat and run it down your floss, it straightens it straight out. No more knots. Oh, Grumpy, it worked brilliant. Oh. The hair straighteners. Mm. And that one's back. So now we have all this cut out and all weeded all cut out and weeded that turned out stunning stunning and this one here mm -hmm. turned out just as stunning wow beautiful 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 see the if i unwind it see how it's kinked and that's how it turned out. Younger. Yeah. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Did you go to Safeways? No. Oh. Safeways, I mean. Yeah. I need my magazine. 
I need a magazine too. So if you're finding that this here is like sticking out like that, just take this and very, very carefully fold it back. So it stays straight. It's still popping there. Nan, I got a very good deal on a Facebook Marketplace where I got three cases or boxes filled with floss bobbins and they've been wound on so much that they kink and i used a hair straightener on it and it came out beautifully flat no kinks so if you've got an iron you can run an iron over it but i just used a hair straightener there are a number there we got you numbers on them See, this one says number four, right at the very bottom. It even carves it out. See? That's not going to show up in the finished product, is it? Yeah, but it's all you need. This one says five. No, I mean, it's not going to show up in the light box. Oh, no. Oh, cool. No, that's in part of the frame. It'll get covered with foam. Okay, okay. Cool. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Nan. I absolutely love this cathedral. I do. It's very traditional. That's the yep. word I was and looking this for, year, traditional. Ne, this year, I'm going to make an effort to go to Midnight Mass. You are? Husband. Why are you roping him into it? To get you up. He will love it. It's not the same. <laughs> I've never been to Midnight Mass. We went to Midnight Mass when we were younger. My mom made us go. We had to go to church every Sunday, too. Yeah, railroading your stitches, it's a long process. takes forever to do, but it does make your cross-stitching look absolutely perfect. The wait, wait, wait. I don't know what railroading is. Um, Look it up. Okay. Thanks, teacher. <laughs> yeah, in Sunday school, we had to go to Sunday school, 4-H, because we lived in the country. I had to go to 4-H club. I learned a lot of stuff in 4-H. I learned how to do measuring with uh, butter, and I bet a lot of you don't even know how to do that. Instead of scooping butter into a cup. Oh, no, you just cut it in lines, half, 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 and half. Well, it's never precise, but with the way they showed us in 4-H four, four is here's your measuring cup with all your measurements on it. So you need a half a cup of butter. So you're going to put a half a cup of cold water in. Then you're going to put your butter in on, in that cold water till it reaches one cup. There's your half cup. You yeah. pour the water out and you get a perfect half a cup. I yeah. learned that in 4-H. I thought that was just amazing. Oh, I oh, need one did. of these machines. Yep, you will love this. Mine hasn't even got a scoring tool. I can only do one thing at a time. It either has to draw it or cut it. See, this one says page three. See? That's Yay. Oh, don't be stripping off. Grumpy's what? Stripping off. He took his top off. Oh, weren't you lucky, eh? Yeah. I'm lucky, she says. Mm. She can't see you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's lucky. She's lucky, yeah. <laughs> I'm the unlucky one. Oh, Muffin. Look at that. So there's the page three. See, Patsy? Whoops. See? So Left a bit. Three. Right a bit. Okay, you guys are getting kinky on video. No, my video is not on. <laughs> and we're not getting kinky either. <laughs> That's a whole different show. Uh, we're not into that. Nope. Mm -mm. nope. <laughs> a whole different show. <laughs> 
Wait, 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 Patsy, what do you say? Okay. <laughs> she sees the, the number. The number, not the striptease. Right, got you. <laughs> Don't be stripping, guys. He's hot. He's just coming from work. Oh. You think you're on the wrong channel. <laughs> I think I'm on the wrong channel. Wait, where's my remote? Can I turn it over? Two more pages. Two more pages. I don't know, Patsy. I've never been on a smut channel to see what's on it. Am I on a smut channel? <laughs> I've never been on a smut channel, so I couldn't say what it is. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Oh, I noticed how we're talking about smut and Tracy pops in. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see that. <laughs> we see how it is, Tracy. We see how it is. Oh, yeah. Grew up when she's talking about her husband taking it all off. We are independent Baptists, and my parents made us go to church all the time, too. Sunday morning and night as well, and Wednesday Bible study in every missions conference. Yeah, see, Baptist, Baptist is a lot like Catholic because they have exactly the same. The, the only thing I find difference between Baptist and Catholic is the Baptists get baptized in a river of water and babies get baptized with water over their head. The fountain, yeah. She writes, yowza. And I really believe a lot of Amish people are very religious in the Baptist community as well. Oh, so, yes. Yes. Yeah. They go to church and they work very hard. That's all I can tell you. And I've seen it from my own eyes. I lived where there was Mennonites and I saw how they lived. They had no hydro to their place. And you could see them all working out in the fields because this is farmer land, land where I lived. And you could see the men out there actually cutting the grass or the hay with an actual sip, sight, yeah. sip, whatever you call sip. that. <laughs> Sickle. Sickle. And cutting Sickle. and cutting. And then they would take a pitchfork, pile it all into big piles. You would see hundreds and hundreds of piles yeah. of hay everywhere just sitting there like, you know, they bale hay and they, they leave the bales in the field to dry. Well, they left theirs on the back uh, or on the big they mound them up into Just these little mountains yep and they did all that by hand with pitchforks and you could tell a mennonite's house because there was always a horse and buggy in the driveway and there was no hydro poles from the street to the house they lived just like that and they still live like that there and i think and the children are more respectful oh, oh i mean i don't care oh. how strict you are with your children or how well oh my you God. I ran into Beach one them? when I went in because I, I was having chest pain. So I went into the hospital and I sat there with a Mennonite. And anyway, I sat there after I'd seen the doctor. And he's like, no, you're having an, an acid. You, I'm going to give you some kind of antacid. Anyway, yeah. I sat in the lobby with her while I waited to get that prescription written. She was the nicest person I ever spoke to. She was a Mennonite. She wore those little Mennonite hats. And I'm telling you guys, they had tapped trees everywhere for sap. They did all of that by hand in a sugar shack. Wow. Yeah. And they made this little town called Elmira, um, which is just outside of Kitchener, Waterloo area. They, that town was all about them. They, they did handmade maple candies they wow. did hand you could walk into their quilt shop they there would be a whole table huge table with all the ladies around it hand stitching all of the food so yeah yes their shops were something you know you know they worked hard because everything was handmade this I just loved living there. I loved the fact that they had horse and buggies. And when you went into the department store, it said horse and buggy parking, which means you couldn't <laughs> park there. No, no, no. It was for the horse and buggies. Yeah, it was. It, it was. These I think if we were to have an apocalypse, they would be the 
only people to survive. I bet you they don't they don't do social media. Well, no. I bet you they don't even have computers. I bet they don't even have power in some places. They everything is all coal oil lamps. Yeah, you know, they do the real thing. I mean, I do. I understand that they do give their children an option where they come out of the community, see what the big life has to offer, but they're also welcome back. Yes. And see, Crafting Panda said the Amish is the same way. They look after each other. And that's basically what the, uh, the you know, the Amish people and the Mennonites, they, they were good to you. Even oh, though yeah. you weren't Amish or you weren't a Mennonite, they treated you with so much respect. I never seen a foul mouth on any of them. Even their kids were so cute because I I lived in um, Palmerston. So I had to drive from Palmerston to Listowel. And that was a, a little commute to go to work at the post office there. And uh, there you would see these little Ben and Night girls and boys with their little round cans. Oh, my Lord. With their lunches, all of them dressed in black and white with their little bow ties. Every little boy had that. Yeah, television ruined more, 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 it really ruined it. Morality, yeah. Morality, yes. It really like I it. said, if we were to have an ap apocalypse, I think that community or those communities would be the surviving ones. Yes, they would. Kids today don't know how to do without the phone for 10 minutes, never mind nope. 24 hours. No, and these little boys and girls were in the field working. Every Sunday, the church that they went to, beautiful churches too, yeah, were piled with uh horse and buggies, loaded. The parking lot was loaded with horse and it was just absolutely the most beautiful thing to see. And I'm telling you, I could live like that. That wouldn't bother me one bit yeah. to work hard. And they do, they do work hard. And my heart, my I mean, you know, my hat's off to them because they are. They are damn good people. They really yes. are. Yes, they're very respectful. Yes, they, do. yes, they do, Mary. They are very respectful of their parents. The children, you don't see them talking back to their parents ever. Oh, oh my God. No. Nope. The whole community would get in on that act if a yep. child was even a back answer a mother. Oh, my Lord. Yep. They never talked back. I never no. saw any of that. I never saw any kind of disrespect. I mean, it's like kids today, they won't even get out of bed to do a, a job. You know, it's, oh, I get more on social security. I'll just stay in bed. <laughs> yeah, you know, what? well, they do. What, what's the incentive for them to go and get a job when they get more, staying in bed and getting mm -hmm. it off the government? Yeah, exactly. But with that community, they know what the pound's worth, should yes. I say. There is no hums and haws about it. You get out, you get a job, you work. Oh, Mary, yes, they do have great fabric shops. Their quilts are bloody amazing. I just love me and Patsy watched them hand quilt quilts where the group of ladies all sat around a table and hand quilted a quilt. My God, it was stunning. And how fast they went. They just went with this little hand needle. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I couldn't hand quilt if you paid me. I saw a, a little trick that one of them did. On her thumbnail, she had a quarter of an inch or half an inch marked on a nail. So when she pulled her thumb across and her needle followed, it was always in a perfect line because she followed this second mark on her nail. Right. Mm -hmm. It was fascinating what they were doing. They didn't use tape measure or anything. They just marked, put a a line on the nails yep wow this one's cutting out very 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 intricate holes to make the tree this part here now we'll have the snow cap part over top so if i colored this in green and put the white over top of it this one here that they're this cutting out you will see it looks snow capped is that the, the one the same as what you did on the truck one with the green tree? Yes. Yeah, you can colour them in. I agree, Nan, totally. It's ridiculous. No, it doesn't help, Tracy. 
Yeah, they did down in uh, Elmira. Oh my God, I love that place. And you know what I really loved? Because on my way to work, I had a, quite a distance when I started work at Manulife Financial. When I worked there for a whole year before I moved back here, I had to drive, I had to commute for one hour from my place. And I had to drive through Elmira to get to Waterloo where I work at Manulife Financial there. And I'll tell you what, I would stop because I had my own desk where I worked in like an office and I had my own desk and I always loved gladiolas. So the Mennonites would either at the time that the gladiolas were ready, they would put them in these big white buckets at the end of the road and say gladiolas a dollar. Well, I would stop every day that they had gladiolas at different Mennonites to grab all the beautiful, pretty colored ones. It was very, yeah. they were just stunning. And I would get some and put them in a vase and put them on my desk at work. And I just absolutely love looking at them. And then on my way home, I would stop and get corn on the cob because it was fresh from their farm. Oh my God, it was just, it, it's not a better life. The only thing I didn't like was the tornadoes. <laughs> Mm. Sand, uh, Panda, I'm sorry, I have to disagree. In the UK, the children or the young people get, so long as they can show that they have looked or tried to get one job per month, they get paid every two weeks. So basically, they are getting paid to stay at home. Oh, really? Yeah, it's called the doll. Oh. And it's been going for years. Wow. And they just have to prove that they've had a interview, one interview, and they will get their social security money. Wow. And I think it's totally wrong. Yeah. Well, I loved I loved driving that commute. I just didn't like the day I was driving home. <laughs> I could see funnel clouds. I was panicking. I was driving in the oh, middle of nowhere. It was country road. Uh, no houses around for a while. I panicked because if I if a funnel or if a tornado dropped, I had nowhere to go. I, I would have been dead. My car would have went bye bye. And after I, 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 I was freaking out on the phone. I was literally uh, beside myself. I was so so freaked out about um i've never seen anything like that in my life the color of the sky when i got out of work that day and seen the color of the sky i was like wow this sky looks weird and then i'm listening to the radio on the way home and they're saying that there's funnel clouds and i look up and i'm like oh my god i've never seen this in my life God, please let me get home. I get home and I was begging all the way home. That yeah. whole hour drive home, I was like begging him to please just let me get home safely. Because I'd have been all by myself in this little wee um, manual transmission car. Oh my God, I was freaking out. I was literally panicking. I, I agree with you totally, Panda. A family cannot live on that amount. But what I'm talking about is new school leavers, layabouts who don't want to work. They show that they've went for one job interview and they get money. I don't mean the families who need that because they would rather work than be on welfare. But I'm on about the young lads and lasses or the girls and boys who just left school. They can't be bothered. The layabouts. Nope. And they get money from governments. I know they do in the UK. I can't say for any other country. I can only say about the UK. And we too. They they just turn around and say, I will not even get out of bed for that amount. No, they don't work. They just it's it's disgusting. A lot of drugs, a lot of overdoses here, I'll tell you that. Now the people who the family ever. who live on that amount, it's ridiculous. And they would rather work. But I'm on about the young layabouts who don't think they should. Why should they get out and get a job when they get money to do whatever they want? This is the overlay for that. Her granny taught her how to do quilts. Yeah. Nice. Mm. 
I wish I'd asked my mum and my granny more, not my granny, she was an old witch, but my mum more questions. Yeah. But I mean, we were just sent out to, as children, we were sent out to play, you know, get out from under our feet while she was cooking and cleaning. Yeah, and cleaning. Yep, you had to go outside and play. I mean, she didn't bother buying Christmas ornaments, she made all our own. With crepe paper, I can remember the crepe paper streamers. So, if you wanted to color this tree, that would be the snow overlay on it. That would be beautiful. That's cute. Yeah, I love the the print offs as well. The cut offs, that bit that you're scraping up. Yeah, Martha likes these little negative pieces too. Yeah, I mean, you could put a piece of transfer tape on top of that, pick it up, and put it on a card. Well, I don't know what you do with those bits, though. Yeah, you just lay it on a card. Yeah. So there's two pages left. One is the back, the 8 by 8 square, and this is the last. Page. I agree. We, I do agree with you all. It's just, I can only speak for the English at the moment. No, it's the same way here. Lazy people don't want to work. They're getting paid on welfare and might as well stay on welfare and just show proof that they went and applied for jobs online, that kind of crap. Mm -hmm. Yep, we've got that yep. too. It's ridiculous. I mean, I feel sorry for the people who want to get off welfare and want to get a job, but there's no jobs going. Anywho. We got off topic. We got serious. My fault. I'm sorry. Bad girl. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I was drinking. Stop your hand. That's the way it is now. Corruption runs deep. That's yep. what the internet did. That's what social media has done. It's corrupted people who can't live without it. Then you guys wouldn't have me. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I mean, funny. people in England, they they complain about the Polish coming over and taking the jobs. But it's because our young people don't want to get out of bed for a, such a small amount. They are willing to work. So I say good luck to them. If they are willing to do the job, good for them. Anyway, back to this. Yeah, I'm getting up to stretch. Good. It's been a long day in my room. But I got a lot accomplished. I I agree with you, Panda. It's the people who really need it that have my full sympathy and support. I love you too, Tracy. Tracy's showing the love. Agreed. Stretch break. That's right, Nan. Finger break. I got a poor, poor blister on my finger from the needle. I'm, I'm saying it's from the needle. I hold it. I, strang I strangle its neck. I hold it too tight. Not at the moment, Nan. I I like to keep on top of chat while Ruby's crafting. And if I, I get so involved in what I'm doing, I, I miss the craft uh, the chat. So while Ruby's live, I don't craft. I like to watch.
Nan, I am enjoying doing the seasons. I'm finding that very, very relaxing. Um, I'm in the middle of spring at the moment. So I bought my girl hmm? little jackets to wear, but they're too big in the neck. They just fall off. So I pinned them, but I'm going to sew them down because they're so freaking cute. Look. Oh, aren't these? The reindeers? A, yeah. Oh my God. So that's cute. Yeah. I got pins in there and that is absolutely not safe. Yeah. Subject change, Panda. Oh, we, we are family. We just go from one thing to another. If it happens in a family, it happens out here too. So lots of room for the neck part. But what happens is they just fall off their shoulders because they're so big in the neck. So I'm just going to... Can you put a drawstring it. or something in? Nope. I'm just going to stitch it down like that. Uh, what, no, you don't I get fuzzies on your mat? I think I'm just going to close it up. Yeah. I'm very slow, Nan, um, but I am enjoying it. I mean, I can still count on one hand how many pieces I've stitched. I am so slow. <laughs> Actually, I'm not going to sew it that way. I'm going to go inward this way. Could yeah. you not do a drawstring on it? No. Because then it's already too short. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I can see where I had the pin. Patsy wants one. Where did you buy them? At Walmart. Did they have other patterns? So, that kind of go diagonally. Hi, Crystal. Crystal's with us, Ruby. Hi, and Crystal. Says, oh, my God, still live. Yep, I'm still live. So I'm going to double stitch that. Uh, Patsy says, sew it inside out. Tiana. So where's my scissors? Oh, I totally agree, Nan. Sometimes you need to give your eyes and your brain a rest from the small stitches. So we'll just flatten Oh, you them. don't want one. You've got one for Coco. Wait, you didn't get one for Ruby's dogs? Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> Patsy, I got the last two. And Tiana's is a small and it's huge on her. <clears throat> yeah, Patsy already had one for Coco. Yeah, she's got a bunch for Coco. Don't let her kid you. Coco's a spoiled rotten dog. By the way, your cricket is finished. Yeah, so I took it in a little bit, went a little crooked, but that's okay because this is the part here that matters. And they look so cute on them, believe me. They're not a fashion much show. safer. Look at Tesla's, it's just so tiny. <laughs> and this is extra small. Oh, bless. Yeah, the ones she bought, my dogs, none of them fit them. Oh. Way too big. Yeah. All right. This is the last one other than that 8 by 8 piece. Oh, Matt. Yep. I'm going to try to pull this up to see if the mat will grab some of that intricate stuff. And it did. And this is adorable. They are so cute. Yeah, Walmart on Arthur Street. I got the last small one. And believe me, Coco was going to need an extra small. And I grabbed the last extra small. They had other ones there, but they were ugly. They were too boyish. And I'm pretty sure he wouldn't want that for Coco Puffy. Everything's got to be princess style for her. Because Coco's a princess. All Wait, pets are adorable. Already cut out. Didn't it cut out the 8x8 one? Uh, no, because you changed it around. 
Oh, right. Well, we shall see if this one. And the eight by eight didn't have a number, if you remember. Yeah, I do remember. Yeah. So, yep, this is the last one. Yeah, Nan, I find if I do any crafts while Ruby's live, I forget about chat. This way, if Ruby's busy, it lets her know what's being said and who's entered so she doesn't miss people. Yep, so now I'm going to... Uh oh no! Didn't stick. That's what happens. You turn it around to get sticky. Yeah, got to use a different part. It's losing its stick. I'm going to have to get a new mat soon. That was a disaster. That does happen. And that happened to me while I was cutting out one. And I thought it was my needle. But it was my mat. So I went and got a new mat. This was a brand new mat. And I've used this mat now to cut out four sets. So that's how much I got out of this. Right. So cutting the same one. All right. So, this is Tessa. Uh-uh. Ruby. Oh, my God. What is it doing? You might have to cut out that bit separate. Damn it. It didn't even cut the paper. What is this needle doing? Oh, it's got shit on the end of it. You want That'll your fingers, please? Swing. Have you got a tin foil to stab it into? Oh, I sure do. There you go. Yep. I did that yesterday and the needle came out. Yeah. I must have pressed it too hard. It comes out, but it goes right back in. You can see all the little bits of tin foil <laughs> on my thing. All right, let's try this. Third time lucky. Third time's a charm. Oh, Panda's Yorkies wearing XXL. Uh, XXS. Extra, 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 extra small. small. Yeah. Yeah. So what it's happening when the needle is dirty, it's pulling the paper. So that's what, what it's doing. Let's try it again. It's the last time I'm going to try You're going to cut this time? There we go. I keep an eye on it. No, it's cutting now. <clears throat> okay, so Tessa's has to be stitched all the way. Done. Down there. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to do a double stitch on hers. And uh, Ruby, you've been live five hours. Yep, yeah, I'm going after this. Let me do the same thing here. Stitch over top. Oh shit, I sewed it on the outside. Uh oh. Aww. Rip that. I didn't want to do that. It's not going to be easy to rip, but. What's the matter, Panda? Panda said, oh no. I don't know what's on wrong. I don't know. Oh, I think you said because you were gone. Oh, maybe. Okay, <laughs> I'm just making a mess of this. This is better. Okay. Stay. Damn it. That just because I double sewed it, so ah, uh. that made it even worse. 
Oh, a poor Tian or Tessa. Well, we'll just have to trim it up nice. And Can you put some down. tinsel or ribbon down it? No, I'll just, I'll show you what I'm going to do. <clears throat> we'll just put it this way. Stitch her down. Okay. I think that's going to be a little snug. Nan says signing off for now. Bye everyone. Bye Ruby. Bye Ruby. Bye, I had a wonderful day. Good. What pastry did you have, Nan? Because I know you had a pastry with your coffee. See you tomorrow, Nan. Looks just like new. Good job. It is kind of chilly outside, so I'd like to put their coats on them. There. No more pins for them. Because those pins were scaring me. I had to take them off them because I was just freaking out that they were... I was going to wake up and they're going to be jabbed to death with pins. Especially these. They're not real safe pins. All right. My girl's little things are done. Cute. Look at <laughs> Isn't that adorbs? Yeah. I think so. All right. There's Tiana's and Tessa's. Okay. And the last one. That is the last one. Let's click finish. Oops. Let's turn off our explore. Let's close the lid. Nope. Yeah, it was not, it was still sticking. It was just the needle was dragging. The needle was, yeah. The needle had crap all over it. Oh, yeah. I need to pick some of this out. <laughs> you can see I didn't get all the bits. Busy with the sewing. Mm hmm. Those dogs look so cute in those sweaters. Oh my goodness. Take pictures, put it on the side. Them. Yeah. Yeah. Put it on the page. Wow, this one did not pull off too much. Oh, Martha's taking pictures of tiny snow snowman. Oh, she's getting a lot of snow. Sucks to be her. We're just getting a lot of cold and wind. We got a little bit of snow overnight, and it's already gone. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I was haven't lasted very long, but apparently we're going to get some more bad. It's coming over from Russia. Do you get lots of snow? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Really? And cold? Oh, yeah. It How freezes. Cold? Well, we've been down to minus two. Oh, woo, la di da. <laughs> That's cold, freezing for you? For me, yeah. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> well, you should have what I worked in the other day. I worked in minus 16. Felt Ooh, like hell minus no. 27. Yeah, I was freaking cold when I got home from work. I got to get used to that damn cold again, and that's just not working very well. Believe me. But that's Celsius, so I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but I just know it's damn cold. I know Martha faces some of the bad weather that we get too, but hey, she's having snow right now. Keep it because I don't want it. I don't want any part of it. All right. Oh. Uh, she meant the craft and panda meant Ruby's paper incident times two. That's what meant by oh no. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. It only ruined one piece of paper, but look at that. All the intricate part is done. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. And it's got a back. So I love that. 
I love it. Let's quit with our thing. So now I have two of these cut out. Quite pleased about that. Yep, there we go. We got two. Hey, where's this one with the road? This one's missing the road because it's behind. Oopsies. That one belongs on top. How I did that, I don't know. There we go. Now they look the same. <clears throat> Beautiful. Gorgeous. All right. We're on a roll, guys. Got one more of this to cut out. Maybe I'll cut that out tomorrow with you guys and put some more together. That's what we'll do. I love this size. I do, and I love this size of the uh, the border. Oh my gosh. And I am going to color the other one I print out, cut out tomorrow. I'm going to color it the same way I did this one for my son, which I think it's, it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, this is, oh, do I have enough paper to do his? Nope. I have to dig into my new pack. Good thing uh, Jeff got me that pack of paper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys. Have yourself a great rest of your evening. God bless. See you guys tomorrow. Happy evening. Bye, everyone. Bye. See you in a couple days, sis. Bye. <laughs>